Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today our topic is about how Muhammad claimed that Satan is a Muslim, which makes sense. But how sense it make? It makes sense based on the teaching of Muhammad that Islam is satanic. But we will see if Muslims really can explain to us how Satan he converted to Islam. Before we start, I saw a comment by a Muhammadan. And you know, Muhammadan, they comment a lot, especially when I am not here. The second I am here, they flee. A Muhammadan, his name, Mufti Shahfar. Shahfar, what a nice name. Shahfar, what does that mean? Hmm. We know what Mufti means, but I don't know, maybe, maybe he is writing the word in using Latin letters and come funny. He was answering a person saying to him, his name is a prophet Google. According to your Bible, talking about my comment, just leave a Christianity, you're blasphemy against God of the Bible. Hey, my friend, as long as you are a mufti, can you help us about why your prophet, he kiss a black stone? As long as you care about blasphemy, why your prophet he claimed that Satan is a Muslim? How your prophet he claimed that black stone forgive your sin? So when I say someone say he's a mufti, I assume that he is a scholar. Are you? If you are a scholar, I will open my Skype immediately just for you. I will not allow anyone else to call me except your Majesty. Guys, do you think this guy is a scholar or he is a bully? What do you think? Say yes, I will call you and I will open Skype just for you. Now we are waiting for the answer and the answer will never come. He will never call me. He will never say, sure, I'm going to call you and get you busted. Are you there, Mr. Mufti? See, I'm calling you Mr., you know. I don't know who you are. You might be a big scholar. I, don't, I have no idea. So this is a big challenge for me. Actually, there's a Muhammadan said in the text yesterday in the comment, do you dare to debate me? For sure I don't dare to debate you. Are you kidding me? No way. No way. Until now, we saw no text even from Mufti. Mufti is dead. That's it. He's playing dead now. He is not here. You will call me Mufti? Okay, I will open sky for you. Text me first, please, to tell me I am Mufti. I will open, you see, actually, this is my, not my schedule to open Skype right now. But, you know, getting a fish is better than anything. <clears throat> All right, we are getting in Skype. Please be sure to log from your side and give me a text. Actually, I can't wait to see you calling me. Sounds very interesting challenge. <clears throat> All right, you are almost in Skype. We are there. I'm waiting for your text, my friend. Now, you know, I saw once or two Muslims, they are, they are betting. He says, do you want to bet that betting is haram? Huh? Do you want to bet that betting is haram? <laughs> so do you want to bet that this Muslim, he will not call? <clears throat> well, my Skype is open. And I'm waiting for you to text me. Text me first and tell me that I am Mufti. To be sure that this is you. And guess what? I mean, you might be able to convince people about Islam now. It's a golden opportunity.
I'm waiting for you. Mufti, don't waste my time. Well, actually, enter Mufti, he called, he texted me, he entered now, he did not. There is a Muslim here, he says, call me today, I will finish you. Okay. As long as we get somebody, he can finish me. That's something I cannot resist. I'm calling the Muslim who said he can finish me. Look like the one who wanna finish me is not there. Okay. We will leave a message for him. Text me when you are ready. Somebody saying in the chat, his name is Almighty. Uh, what is his text? Almighty, are you a Muslim, my friend? Mr. Almighty, are you a Muslim? I'm waiting for your answer. And Mufti, we are waiting for your text, my friend. You know, actually, it's funny that your name is Almighty and you do not know. Almighty, he can do and he can be whatever he want. That's why we call him Almighty. If God cannot do something, he cannot be considered almighty because he is not God really. So if you are questioning how Jesus says me and God is one, the Father is one, for he is almighty and he can be two person yet one. He can be three person yet one. So when the Muslim they question how God can be three person yet he is one, and they say to you, in which language you are talking to me? One plus one plus one plus one is one. That is your calculation. With God, all your logic disappears. Like, is it logical that Jesus, he is a son of a woman, but he have no father? How come you accept that? Oh, you say because Almighty, he wanted that to happen. So, you, Muhammadan, you have a double standard. When you want, you remember that he is Almighty. When you want, you make him a no one. He is not Almighty. What happened to this guy? Mufti, if you do not text me in the coming three minutes, I will block you from the chat. You wasted my time. So guys, do you see how easy to answer the Muslim when they say how God can be three person and yet he is one? He is almighty. If he cannot be, then he cannot be God too. Are you getting the point? Like if you say to me, how God he can go inside your room and you have uh, concrete. Let's say you are inside a concrete room. How he can get in? In which language you are talking to me? So why you call him God? Is that about possible or impossible? The second you say he is almighty God, that means nothing is impossible for him. Correct? Now, as long as the Muhammadan, they disappear, and nobody is calling or texting. Actually, text me, don't call me right away, just text me. I will log off from my Skype for now, because they covered off, so we don't get disturbed. And we might go back to Skype later. All right. So our topic today is about Shaitan, he became a Muslim. Once a person from speaker corner, his name is Farhad. He called me and the guy was so excited. And to be honest with you, I like it when Muslims are so excited. 
He was so excited. And thank God, we have all our debate recorded so Muslims cannot deny it. Even the one, by the way, they try to fabricate things by cutting my videos, still there. So here we have an example of a Muhammadan. He is from South Asia, as he identify himself. And he called me when I am live on air. Hello. Hello, is that Christian Prince? Yes. Right, I've just been watching your uh, YouTube show. All right, and we are live on air, my friend. People, they can hear you. What do you want to say? Of course. Um, I want to address these issues that you're talking about in the Quran. All right. And hopefully you can have a little debate. Sure, go ahead. Okay, if you're going to let me come off of this and go on to the YouTube can you speak louder, please? Your voice is gone. One second, sorry. I'm just getting some headphones in. No problem. You can hear me, correct? Okay. Yeah, I do. Uh, mute, please, uh, YouTube. Yep, yeah, it's on pause anyway. All right. So I would like to, um, I had some of your followers. I'm asking me to come and debate you on your channel, so I thought I'll have come and have a look and see what's going on. All right. Do, um, do you like to introduce yourself reference... first? Do you like to introduce yourself? Oh, my name's um, I'm Go Live Media. Um, Go off of YouTube. Go what? Go Live Media. Go Live Media. Go Live. Okay. Yeah, Go Live Media. All right. And um, I generally do some educational videos on Islam. Um, I've debated debated a few individuals from Speakers Corner on their panels. All right. Um, so the first verse that you actually bought one of the verses that you just recently brought up mm. was that Satan intercepted the revelation right. and made um, Muhammad mm. give some incorrect verses correct um, and the verse that you used mm. um, it more or less clearly states um, Allah actually speaks about this in the Quran and he says Satan intercepted it okay. but Allah corrected it and cancelled out the verse Correct. So I don't see the problem in this. Right. What is your issue with this? Okay, guys, uh, 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 what, what I shall call you, my friend? Do you have a name to call you with? Farhad. For Farhad. 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 Yeah. Sounds yeah. like an Iranian name. Is that right? Yeah. All right. But I'm South Asian. So. All right. No problem. So uh, he agree that Shaitan he put words and Allah he cancelled. Correct. Yeah. Okay. But you see the problem here that. Uh, supposedly Muhammad is a prophet of Allah and he is protected by Allah you know when the Quran said in different verse وَمَا هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَى مَا هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَى anything right. Muhammad he say it is nothing but an inspiration from Allah that, okay. that is a very dangerous promise because you are saying that anything Muhammad he say it is from Allah chapter 53 verse number four right right okay and then we find that shaitan he was able to put in the mouth of Muhammad so now which one is contradicting which one if everything he say is from Allah and then we find that Muhammad no he spoke what is not from Allah and then Allah had after that to cancel it that's mean that verse chapter 53 verse number four is a fabrication it cannot be true if, uh, if Allah if Allah is God my friend hold on if Allah is God and I think you agree with me if you say okay Christian Prince I will teach you English and you will never do a mistake do you agree that I will never do a mistake not necessarily because the Prophet what? is still a human we don't believe you he's see, infallible no 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 you see this is not about a human now this is about wahyun yuha about inspiration about speaking of God this is not about you know him uh, uh, speaking to his wife this is not about him uh, uh, making a, a mathematical error. No, this is about speaking of God. So when he say, he just say that anything he say is inspiration from God. So we are talking here about the protection of inspiration that he say nothing but what Allah said to him. So he, be, he being a human will not change anything because he just said to him, don't Allah knew that Muhammad is a human? He knew, right? So he's saying to him, he's promising him that anything you say is from Allah. 
Okay, and then we find that shaitan is written in his mouth, satanic verses. Yes, because uh, as Allah spoke about in the verse, that shaitan intercepted the message from Gabriel to Muhammad while he was receiving revelation. And if Allah is saying this is possible, then we believe this is possible. But then Allah is also saying that he cancelled the verse out. Where, where, where it says it's possible? I don't see the problem. Where it says it's possible? The verse itself. Hmm. The verse itself no. is for saying no. that... No, the verse itself is it? in front of you, my friend, it says that all the inspiration is coming from Allah and it's not possible for anyone to fabricate. This is why if you go to the different verse in the Quran, it says that if Muhammad invented anything uh, uh, in, in our name, we are going to cut his oratory. You know that verse? Yes. I've heard okay. This, yeah. So Allah, he made a promise to the point that if there is any invention, the punishment, I will cut his oratory. So there is the, the only way to do invention in the Quran is Muhammad trying to fabricate. But even if he tried to do that, I'm going to punish him and I'm going to kill him. Chapter 69, verse number 46. So there's no okay. way, there's no way any fabrication can come to the Quran because even if it's the Prophet himself, I will cut his artery. And this is a promise from Allah. So here, Muhammad, he made it so clear, confirming again that nobody can intervene and nobody can put inside the Quran. And if you go back to the same verse, the one you agree with it, it it's, it's make it clear that we have a Quran already, which is satanic verses. And let me explain to you, my friend. If you go to the verse again and read it carefully, when the Quran said that... Could you just give me the, give me the reference, please? Just help me quickly bring it up. It, it's chapter 22, verse number 52. Okay. All right. If you go to that verse, and you said with me and agreed that the Quran already, uh, uh, the shaitan already, put satanic verses in the mouth of Muhammad, correct? We did not but send... We did not send before you any messenger or prophet except that when he spoke or recited, hmm. Satan threw in it some misunderstanding. Okay. But Allah abolished which Satan throws in. The one who is asking, we are replaying a debate. However, if we can get a Muslim to call us and debate us live, he is more than welcome. So stop asking the question, is that a replay? Doesn't make it any different. Does it make a difference for you? Shall we give you fruit, uh, fresh fruit? Is that a fish, old fish? If you are here to learn, sit and listen. If you are bored, go. The Muslim trying to defend their prophet. And we are showing you how Muslims always fail. Those are the ones who claim to be educated. This is a guy actually, he is brave. I mean, you have to be brave, to be honest with you, to call a Christian prince. Fifi, Mimi, Susu, Dudu, Shabir, Ali, don't dare to call me. So, if you are bored, you can leave. You want to listen, you are welcome. We will make comment. We will open Skype again. We open it first a few minutes in the broadcast. Nobody call. No Muhammadan. They are scared, I understand. And... Let us see how Muslims can defend Islam. Okay. Then Allah makes precise his verses and Allah is knowing and wise. Okay. So Allah will abolish what? What shaitan he throw, correct? Yeah. Okay. So in order to abolish something, it have to be there. So now that means shaitan was successful to throw in the mouth of Muhammad, satanic verses. That's wonderful. Now, what is my guarantee that all this verse is from shaitan after this? Do you notice here what happened? He agreed that this is, yes, Quran confirmed that shaitan, he throws satanic verses in the mouth of Muhammad. That's wonderful. We reach an agreement. Usually, by the way, Muslims, they play all kinds of games not to say, yes, this is what happened. Usually, I need to uh, like uh, play a football game with the Muhammadan to reach that point where he have to agree like you have to force him to agree. This guy, he agreed. That yes, shaitan, he put words in the mouth of Muhammad. And Allah will take it off. So I said to him, well, what is my guarantee now that this verse itself is not made by shaitan? As long as shaitan, he can put words in Muhammad's mouth. Can shaitan say to me, relax, I will take them off? <laughs> 
So I said to him, what is my guarantee that this is verse itself is it from shaitan? Verses and Allah is knowing and wise. Okay. So Allah will abolish what? What shaitan he throw, correct? Yeah. Okay. So in order to abolish something, it have to be there. So now that means shaitan was successful to throw in the mouth of Muhammad satanic verses. That's wonderful. Now, what is my guarantee that all this verse is from shaitan after this? Because shaitan, because let, let me let me explain to you. Because now, let us say, I am, you know, people are listening to me. And now I say, okay, guys, uh, we should not worship uh, God, etc. We should be communist. And then you say to me, how you say, you, how you claim to be Christian? And then second day I say, oh, shaitan, he made me say that. And Allah will abolish it. And he gave me this verse. Now, how, what is my guarantee that this verse itself is not made from shaitan to make us relax and believe Muhammad is a prophet? Because as long as shaitan was able to put in the mouth of Muhammad once, what is going to stop shaitan from doing it again and again? And even making a verse like this to make you believe that, don't worry, he is the right person still. Well, because Allah is the all-seeing, all-hearing as we believe. And if that was to happen, Allah would make sure it's abolished. My friend, Allah could not protect Muhammad from before it happened, so he protected after it happened. See here the logic. Allah is all knowing, all seeing. What does this have to do with the question? What does that even have to do with the question? I'm saying to you how we can trust the Quran after you just admitted that Shaitan he gave Muhammad Satanic verses. If he can give it once, he can give it again. And again, and again, and what Allah will do? He will take it off again and again and again. What a joke. Right? Can you see the title? Yeah, you sure. The title of this debate is Osan Debate uh, South Asian Muslim versus Christian Prince. You can download it from an account. It's called God is Love. All right. Actually, I have a link for it in the info. If you click at the info all the way down, you will find a link for it. Well, obviously, we believe everything that happens it only happens if Allah allows it. Thank you very much. So, so are you saying to me that Shaitan and Allah in agreement to put Quran, false Quran in the mouth of Muhammad? Did you hear it? Did you hear what he said? Nothing will happen unless Allah allow it. Muslim, did you hear it? Nothing happened unless Allah allow it. So Allah allowed the Bible to be corrupted according to Muslims. Allah allowed the Torah to be corrupted according to Muslims. Allah allowed shaitan to throw satanic verses in the mouth of Muhammad according to Muslims. So who is Allah? Who is Allah? Allah and Satan, they are in total agreement. They have one mission. Allah agree, he Satan. Hey, say, uh, Allah, I'm going to uh, corrupt. Uh, sure, sure, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I will support you. I will make it happen. I will allow it. What is that? Shaitan is an employee of Allah, or maybe Shaitan himself is Allah. My friend, Allah could not protect Muhammad from before it happened, so he protected after it happened. Well, obviously, we believe everything that happens, it only happens if Allah allows it. Thank you very much. So, so are you saying to me that Shaitan and Allah in agreement to put Quran, false Quran in the mouth of Muhammad? Well, it's not the first time um, the Shaitan and Allah have been in agreement. The Shaitan made an agreement with Allah that Allah will grant him respite until Judgment Day. And he will attempt to lead as many uh, believers astray as he can. Did you hear it? And here... That will raise actually a question. That will raise a question. The verse he is quoting for us. Let us see. Look. 
This is part of the Quran. This is chapter 7, verse number. You can read, you know, from uh, uh, verse number 11 if you want. And here, by the way, there's a very important point. I would like you, all of you Christians and atheists, whoever is, and even Muslims, to take a note. How many times we heard Muslims saying that nobody can make Quran? How many times we heard Muslims saying, nobody can make Quran? Didn't we hear that? We do, right? All the time. But guess what? This guy, he just told us that Shaitan, he have many agreements with Allah. And where we can find those agreements, we can find them in the Quran. As an example here, it says, he said, which means Allah, what prevented you from bowing down when I have commanded you? He said, I am better than he. You created me from fire and you created him from mud. Okay, hold on. Who is the one who said this? Shaitan. So how you Muslim, you say nobody can make Quran if this is Quran of Shaitan? I don't know if you understand my point. I hope I don't have noise in the background. I have my, my fan on. If nobody can make not a single sentence like the Quran as the Muhammadan claim, which is very funny and stupid to say. Because if I make right now anything, they will say this is not the same. I mean, who is the judge? Here we go, Muhammad, he received satanic verses, and Muhammad could not recognize that it's not from shaitan. The angel, he came to him long after, say, hey, Muhammad, khabibi, what you did, Muhammad? This is not from Allah, this is from shaitan. <laughs> so Muhammad himself could not recognize if this is from shaitan or not. Sound and picture are shaky. Uh -huh. Really? Okay, let me see why it's shaky. It's changed because, because it's forbidden here to have belly dancing. Why is shaky? Uh, it not, it's not shaky for me, my friend. Maybe you have a bad internet. Maybe you have a bad internet. So, he said, who he said, if we ask the Muslim right now, who he said that, they would say shaitan. Okay, but this is shaitan talking. How you say to us, nobody can make Quran like the Quran, and now we find that shaitan make your Quran. And guess what? The Quran is not only answering Allah. No, he is answering and he is ending the same as Allah by the letter Noon. As an example here. إِلَّا إِبْلِيسَ لَمْ يَكُنْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ Muhammad trying to make Arabian music. Like, you know, I saw, I saw a cat. She was so fat. She, chasing a, she was chasing a rat. So you have to end with the letter. So Allah, he finished the word with إِن. Shaitan answered Allah saying, Mintin. Allah said to him, Go down and be from Sagirin. <laughs> and then he said to him, Inni min al -munadirin. Shaitan and Allah are exchanging rap. Did you notice what I'm talking about? I challenge any Muslim to say that the one is talking now is not shaitan. So how you say shaitan have no words in the Quran, and how you say nobody can make Quran, but we see that shaitan is speaking in the Quran. If we ask the Muslim now, is that the word of shaitan when Allah he says? That shaitan he said that to him. Is Allah is lying? If there's any Muslim in the in the bushes would like to give me a call? If there's any Muslim would like to call. If there is any Muslim would like to give me a call to open my Skype. Open challenge. Any Muslim would like to call me. Look like there's nobody. There is? Where is? Okay, let me open Skype then. <clears throat>
I open for a time, the Muslim text us. And let us see if this time they are being honest and somebody will do. Text me first, please. My Skype is on. Oh, we have a Muslim here. All right. But I hope his internet is good because I hear the sound of like... Uh, How are you doing? Yeah, Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. How are you, brother? All right. Hi. So uh, you are listening to us, my friend, because I see the saying, "You are." Can I call you? And I said, "Sure, you know, I will call you." So are you listening to what we said? Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah. So how? Can you hear now? Hello. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. If you can speak louder, that will be better. How how you Muslims you say that yeah. Quran is the book of God? And all the Quran is made by God, and then we find that the Quran says Shaitan said and said the following. So is the Quran all of it is made by God, or there is some of it is made by Shaitan? Okay. <clears throat> so first of all, uh, we Muslims we believe uh, that uh, Quran is the word of God, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and uh, it is not from uh, from Shaitan or Shaitan or hmm. Shaitan. Hmm. or from any other source it is only from the creator of the heavens and the earth so uh, the question is so uh, how uh, is it possible that uh, it is from shata actually no uh, it is it is only from uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hmm. but yeah. uh, can you read with me chapter 7 no. as, an, as an example chapter 7 verse number 12 it says i am he said i am better than he you created me from fire and you created him from mud. Who is talking? Yeah, okay. Uh, this is Satan said. Actually, this is because uh, of his arrogant and uh, egoism, I can say arrogant. And uh, he have created me out of fire and you have created him out of uh, clay or dust. Doesn't so, matter. I'm not, why shall I uh, my friend, from this is okay. not the question. This is not the question. I'm not talking about if Shaitan is a good guy or not now. I'm saying you just told me that yeah. all the Quran is from God, but here it says that he said that. Who is the one who said those sentences? Shaitan. Is it Allah who said, I am better than he? You created me uh, from God fire God. and you God. created him from mud. Who okay. is the one who said that? Yeah, okay. Who is the one who said so, that? Yeah, yeah, uh, God, yeah. God Almighty, He mentioned what, what uh, Satan he, he said. Okay. Uh, he's accused. So uh, He mentioned. Okay. Yeah. So exactly now we agree that the one is talking here is Shaitan. He said Shaitan said that is Allah lying yeah, when he say uh, is Allah lying when he said Allah. Shaitan he said that or it's a true this is he what he said. Yeah, of course. God Almighty, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, He mentioned what what Satan said. For example, for example, uh, He mentioned what Noah said for, uh, to His people. Exactly. His so now, my friend, don't so say topic. Don't say topic. You, you, I yeah. think I think you are not listening, my friend. I am saying if the Muslims and the Quran say yeah. nobody can make Quran like this, you can't even make a, a verse like this. Yeah. So this verse is made by Shaitan. So, what's your logic actually? I, I don't know. My logic is, my logic is, is the Quran. Is this. Is the, who is the one who is who is yeah. the one was responding and adding the letter yin at the end? Like here, if we read together, قال ما منعك ألا تسجد إذ أمرتك قال إني خير من خير منه خلقتني من نار وخلقته من طين. Okay, شيطان. We have a bad connection. Too bad. Hello? Uh oh. We lost the guy. Hello? 
Yeah, my dear brother, I can hear now. Okay, my friend. So, when when Shaitan he added the words, yeah. responding to Allah, and he make it in the same tone. How do you explain that to me? So Allah, he said in the word before, Sajideen, Shaitan, he answered to him, Mintreen, Allah said to him, Sagireen, Shaitan said to him, Mundreen, so what is this? How Shaitan is yeah, answered. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, my dear brother, uh, what I understand is this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned what Shaitan replied, yeah? Mm -hmm. Shatan said, he mentioned it in the Quran. For example, uh, let me give an example. And before giving uh, giving the example, I want to share one verse. Chapter 26, please check. Chapter 26, verse number 210. Uh, it is mentioned, وَمَا تَنَزَّلَتْ بِهِ الشَّيَاطِينَ وَمَا يَنْبَغِي لَهُمْ وَمَا يَسْتَتِعُونَ إِنَّهُمْ عَنِ السَّمْعِ لَمَا Chapter 26, verse number 210. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it is mentioned that the devils, the Satan, have not brought the revelation down, the Quran, and it is not allowable, it is not possible for him, for them, uh, nor would they be able, they will never be able to do, uh, to, to reveal the Quran, because uh, what, what is the reason? The reason is, Inna hum lama chapter 26, verse number 212, that indeed they, from its hearing, the hearing uh, from the Quran, of the Quran, are removed, uh, they are far away from uh, from hearing the Quran. So this is not from Satan. But in that verse you were quoting, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned what Satan replied to uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he ordered him to prostrate in front of in front of uh, Adam or Adam alayhi hmm. uh, and, and the second point is what this have to Allah do with my what this have to do what this have to do with my question? Yeah, your question is, uh, who, who is speaking here, right? Who is speaking here that uh, you have created me out of uh, fire uh, and you have created Adam out of uh, clay? So who is speaking? This is the question, right? No, the question is, how shaitan, mm -hmm. words is in the Quran, and how he is answering using the same rap music or tone to Allah, and make it equal to him in equality. If I ask you now, this part of the verse, is it a good equality in Arabic or it is a bad equality? Where Shaitan he said, I am better than he, you created me from fire. Is that a good equality of Arabic or equal to the rest of the Quran or it's a bad equality? Yeah. So, so the question is, that uh, uh, Shatan, he, he actually he, he was replying that uh, I am better than him. So, my dear brother, actually I could not understand what you are trying to say because uh, what I said is the God Almighty mentioned. Okay, let me explain to you. Let me explain replied. to you. Let me explain okay. to you. If we have a book and the book is written by, by one person, but then this person he is quoting somebody else, the quotation have a language. It's a language, right? Then I'm yeah, asking you now, is the, is the quotation in the language, is it better equality than the rest of the book or it's the same equality or it is less equality? Yeah, yeah, I don't know actually, I, I, I'm not understanding this issue. No, right. what do you understand? You understand very well. Yeah. Okay, so you understand very well. I want an answer. You don't know what uh, to say, right? Made yeah. it clear. Uh, chapter two. Not no, you don't make it clear. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care what chapter okay. you quote. I don't care what chapter yes. you quote. I'm asking you, is this sentences made by Shaitan or by anyone? Is it the same equality as the rest of the Quran or it is less equality as Arabic? No, it is the it is the it is mentioned in the Quran. It is uh, it was the language. So uh, what do you mean by it is the same quality or not? Okay, it was, oh, you almost then you say nobody can make Quran like the Quran, and then you are saying to me that this is Shaitan is talking, and now I'm asking you, is the quality of Shaitan talking is equal to the rest of the Quran talking? Quality of language, quality of uh, 
uh, of the words. Hmm? Yeah, okay. So which one? Who who is better at quality? Yeah, my dear brother. Is, uh, okay, first. Uh, okay, let me check. first of all give me the reference you are quoting from uh, Shatana. Uh, which verse? Chapter. Chapter seven, verse number twelve. I said, I said, I said that to you from the beginning. It doesn't matter. There's many verses, by the way. I mean, it doesn't doesn't matter really. Yeah. Okay. So, is the quality of Shaitan words in the Quran are equal to the quality of Allah words in the Quran? What uh, when we say Shaitan words? That means, uh, no, no, Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning what, what Shatan said. Yeah, replied. Rep, rep, so, uh, what are you trying to say? Allah's. Actually, I don't <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see the previous verse, yeah? I heard you, uh, I heard you, I heard you swallowing your tongue. I understand. Listen, I mean, the question is very simple. There is two, there is, there is a sentence made by Shaitan, and there is a sentence made by Allah. Both of them, they are located in one page. Both of them, they are in Arabic. Which one of them is better quality as language, as a strength, as a clarity, as power, as tone? Is the words of Allah better than the verse which is shaitan, he said, or the verse of shaitan is better than Everything Allah? Everything in the Quran, every single word in the Quran, Allah is mentioning, informing us. And Satan, what Satan said, this is uh, this is the same quality, yeah. Because uh, this is not Satan uh, uh, is to, uh, talking to us. This is Allah Subhanahu. But okay, Allah, so guys, it's not Shaitan talking to us. Okay, hold on, hold on. So, are you saying, are you saying that when Allah He said that Shaitan He said He is lying, He is changing the words? Are you saying that when Allah He said He said I am better than He? Allah is not quoting Shaitan word by word. Allah is lying. My dear brother, Allah, if, if you say, if you reply something, yeah, and if I say that, oh, brother, uh, Christian Prince, he, he said this, yeah, if I, if I write in a book, hmm. that doesn't mean that you are writing uh, writing the book or you are speaking. Doesn't matter, uh, but what I say because, is, uh, when is you say, I'm okay, my friend, listen, listen, when you say Christian Prince said this, shouldn't you quote what I said exactly, correct? You cannot change it. If you are honest, you will quote yeah, me word by word. Uh, okay, so Allah is yeah. quoting shaitan word by word. So how you just say to me, this is the same equality. That means shaitan equality in Arabic is the same equality as Allah equality in Arabic. That means shaitan Quran is the same equality as Allah Quran. Okay, first of all, we have to keep in mind that at the time of uh, when uh, Satan uh, he replied, in which language did he reply? We don't know. I don't know actually. Uh, so I don't know in which language they, uh, they were speaking uh -huh. at the time of Adam. Uh -huh. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, we know. According to you Muslims, when Adam sneezed, when Allah was creating him, he speak Arabic. He says, Alhamdulillah. So don't tell me you do not know. Uh, why? No, why did you get this? Is it mentioned in the Quran? I mention all over, you know, yeah, we can show you the, 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 the reference. Is it? Okay, hold on. When you, when you Muslim, you, you speak about things. Everything you have to bring from the Quran, or you can you have other sources. You as a Muslim, mm. be honest with me. You accept only Quran now. I have not found uh, mm. in the greatest Quran any verse that okay. uh, Adam, uh, Adam alayhi wasalam, he was speaking Arabic. So I didn't get it from the Quran. So can you show me uh, any verse? Uh, then I can I can. All right, let us go a little bit. Uh, check it. So no problem. As an example here. Yeah, because I know a verse of the Quran. Uh, it's my, my friend, my friend, my friend. Yeah, I know. Is, 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 is that Arabic? Are you speaking Arabic now? No. So why are you, why you are why you quoting something to me in a funny Arabic if you do not know Arabic? Is that trying to impress me that you know Arabic? But you don't. So why? what's the point of saying those things? In a language you don't understand, and it's coming in a very no, funny way. So listen, in chapter 17, verse number 11, cha chapter 17, verse number 11, it says, and I want you to read with me in the screen. Chapter 17, verse number? 
11. And the human was ever hasty. Ibn Abbas mentioned the story of Adam when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet, when his soul was breathed into him. It entered his body from the head downward. When it reached his brain, he sneezed and he said, Alhamdulillah. Do you see it? And Allah answered him in Arabic. Yeah, he said, uh, maybe he's, my dear brother, Alhamdulillah, just misplaced it Allah. So in Arabic, he said in Arabic language, why, why is it mentioned in the Quran? That he, he said in Arabic language. For example, uh, if I say in, in my own language, my language is Bangla, Bangla is my mother tongue. So when I say, uh, 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 Alhamdulillah, in my Bengali language, that, that means I'm uh, translating in Arabic, Alhamdulillah. So, uh, did he say that uh, he spoke in Arabic? No, uh, I, I don't So, when you say Alhamdulillah, say okay, yeah, is Alhamdulillah, it is Arabic or it is Urdu? Uh, Alhamdulillah is the translation, uh, all praise and glory is due to Allah. If I say in English... No, 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 he said, no, no, you see, he did not translate, he said, he said Alhamdulillah, he did not translate. He said, Alhamdulillah. Otherwise, he will say something else. He will say, uh, like, Kayas, Alif Lam Mim. He will say, Shalom. He, he said, Alhamdulillah. Is Alhamdulillah an Arabic word? Okay. Uh, Ibn Abbas, he wrote, uh, maybe he wrote the Tafsir, uh, or he spoke in, uh, his mother tongue was in Arabic, right? So that is why, if Adam Allah, he spoke English, for example. Hmm. Uh, he, if he said that all praise and glory is due to Allah, and I am, I am, uh, if I if I speak in Arabic, then I shall say, oh, Adam Allah was like Adam. He said Alhamdulillah. So this is the translation. This is not the exact word in that language. So I don't agree with that. This is a translation. Yeah. Hmm. Of course. Okay. Let me ask you: the Shahada written in the chair of Allah is written in which language? Shahada, are you, are you quoting hadith or? I'm asking you the question, answer me please. The Shahada which is written on the chair of Allah, in the throne of Allah, is written in which language? Shahada was written, it is not, it is not mentioned in the Quran, in any part. Uh, this Shahada is not the question, this is not the question, my friend. I mean, why you, why Muslim they have to play all kinds of games to avoid the answer? I'm asking you, according to your knowledge, the Shahada, which you Muslim say, to become a Muslim, written on the chair of Allah, in which language? I don't know, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as I know, it's in Arabic. No, you... Okay, as I know, it's Arabic because when Allah, when Adam, he commits sin, he, you know, he asked, uh, 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 he asked Allah for forgiveness, and then Allah, he said to him, uh, let me show you the hadith in English, as long as you do not know anything about Arabic. Give me a second. Yeah, I, I know you are quoting the hadith, yeah, I know. Oh, so you know the hadith. The hadith. Here we go, so you know the hadith. Yeah, so why now you are denying that you do not know? A second ago you say, I do not know. Now you agree that you know the hadith. And what the hadith is saying, that it's written in Arabic. It's written exactly as we are saying, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah, correct? Wanna Muhammadan, a false prophet. No, so, no, 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 so, so how are you sure that it was written in Arabic? Does the hadith say that it yes, was written it says, in Arabic? It's, it, no, it says the word is in Arabic. There's no prophet but Allah. Shahada, the Shahada. You Muslims, even when, if you're Indonesian, you have to say it in Arabic. Even if you are an Israeli, you have to say it in Arabic. Even if it's a, this is the Shahada. And they did not mention, in no way of saying, that when Adam, he saw what he was reading different words, and this is the meaning of it. It says exactly what he but said, the Shahada. My dear brother, uh, let, let me let me say one thing, just one thing. Uh, uh, at, the, at, the, at the time of Moses, or Moses alayhi wasalam, there was Shahada, right? Because uh, all the prophets, they said, la ilaha illa. This, this, uh, this is our beliefs. And we believe that all the prophets, that first of all, they said, la ilaha illa. Uh, they, they, they don't say in Arabic. No, 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 not at all. And uh, the Quran, for example, for example, uh, it is mentioned in the Quran, chapter 14, Surah Ibrahim, <coughs> verse number 4. Uh, that Wama or Salna mir Rasulin illa bilisani called him. Yeah, so uh, we didn't send uh, any messenger except speaking in the language of his own people, of his own nation. Okay. So every messenger was sent uh, in the language of his own hmm. and? nation. 
before. And? So, uh, I don't understand all the prophets that said lie uh, in Arabic. Okay, I want you to read this with me in the screen. You see, you jump to say, I do not know, because simply you're trying to avoid the embarrassment. Even when you're Muslim, you translate, you don't even translate the word. You say, If not you, I created nothing. Let us read the hadith. Question, and this is sunnah.org. What is the respect of ulama, of the religion, of sharia, about this hadith? ما خلقت الأفلاك. Is that a correct hadith? Is that so? The question is very clear. The answer, indeed, the Prophet of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم is the reason for the creation of Adam عليه السلام and the universe. If 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 Muhammad, if the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was not to exist. Then Arsh, the chair of Allah, the, the, the board of Allah, the tablet of Allah, the pen of Allah, the sky, the earth, the heaven, the hell, the trees, the stones, and all other creatures will not exist. Muhammad is Allah, obviously. Of course, Allah is exists just to serve Muhammad. And then if we go here, you will see, it says, when Adam, and you see the reference for the hadith in front of you, when Allah said, when Adam made a mistake, he asked, oh Allah, I asked you for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. Allah said, Oh Adam, how do you recognize Muhammad when I have not yet created him? Adam said, Oh Allah, when you created me and be, blow into my into me my the spirit, I lifted my head and I saw written Al Al Arsh, even the word Arsh isn't you know, La ilaha illallah Muhammad <laughs> So you are trying to fabricate an answer to fit with the with the propaganda, oh, denying that this is what he said, my friend. So are you saying to me, are you are you Muslim saying to me that Adam he said something different and you Muslim are just translating? My dear brother, this question I asked to two imam, many imams in my country, mm. in my in my villages, in my in my district, mm. and all of them they say this is a weak hadith. We don't we don't accept it. Uh -huh. And I, I okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So here that the sheikhs are answering by weak hadith. The sheikh is answering. This is, this is, the, the, this is weak. This is not. Oh, oh, guys, anything, anything we show them is weak. Anything doesn't matter. It's weak. That, that's it. It's weak. Now let me let me make it more clear. As long you see, I show you reference from your book saying clearly that they, they use Arabic. Can you show me from your book reference that they did not use Arabic in the time of Adam? No, you are quoting a hadith. Actually, this is this is a weak hadith. I know. And, okay, uh, hold on, I, hold on, I, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, first of all, it's okay to lie. No problem. You don't even know the hadith. Okay. Just to show everybody that you do not know what I'm talking about. This hadith is located where? As long as you know it's weak. Located where? What the book name? No, I cannot remember. I, I, so, guys, he did not know even, he did not even know, he did not even know where this hadith is located, but he's sure it's weak. No, I, I studied it, yeah. I, I, no, I you don't study it, because if you study it, at least you will know which book. Okay, study it in which book? You study it in which book? No, I cannot remember now, actually. You cannot remember now, tomorrow, then uh, no problem, you see. So you are not giving me any proof that this is not what happened, but yet I am giving you proof, and you are fabricating answers saying this is weak. When your sheikh saying, for sure, indeed, they're agreeing, and right away they start quoting this, and it says here in the front of us, authentic, it's sahih, authentic. Uh -huh. Hold on, hold on. It's sahih, authentic. Okay, uh, let, let, let me tell you one thing, just one, mm. one thing. So, uh, this, this is my question, actually. Uh, mm. My question is that at the time of Moses, when Muslims, all the Muslims believe, the, the Shahada was not the La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. No, it was not the Shahada. The Shahada was uh, La ilaha illallah Musa Rasulullah. Yeah, uh -huh. this is the Shahada. Mm -hmm. And this was not in uh, in Arabic language. Okay. So if uh, it would be written in the... Okay, so 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 uh, uh, whoever said that Muhammad's name is written in the throne of Allah is a liar, right? Uh, this is not my 
difference between the Quran? You have to show me from the Quran. I am not a expert in Hadith. You have to show me from the Quran. Uh, because the, uh, the uh, and I think that uh, if you discuss uh, regarding to the Quran only, it will be better for me actually. I am not a expert in Hadith actually. Mm, you are an expert with the Quran. Okay, but I show you the Quran. Okay, I showed you the Quran. I showed you the Quran. And you are the one who came to me says that Allah is translating what Shaitan he said to him. Do you have a proof of that? Not translating. He is translating or not. I don't know in which language he so, spoke. I so know. that so then no he okay, he said he said, my friend, I see I, you know I always you play games when you call me. He said, Shaitan, he said this. Didn't he say anywhere, Allah, to you, that Shaitan was not saying that word by word in Arabic? If there's anywhere it says he did not? Or you are fabricating your own answer to get away from it? No, uh, Shaitan replied, Shaitan replied uh, in the language. I don't know which language. So how you know it's not Arabic? So why you said to me, how, how you, no, no, you see, you see, this is what I don't like. You know, I, I appreciate honesty. If somebody want to talk to me, I'm trying to speak to you nicely, stay calm, not to be angry, because lies make me angry. So why you said to me, Allah is translating? No, I don't, I don't know. Is it translating? So why you said to me, so why you said to me, Allah here is translating what Quran, what Adam said, what Shaitan said? You said that. Why you said that to me? I didn't say it is. It may be. May? Well, thank you. Nice to meet you, May. My friend, we are talking about God. You don't say to me, May, either you have a proof or don't fabricate an answer. Either you speak with knowledge or don't speak with ignorance. Actually, because you are asking... Okay, let, let me share one verse, yeah? Let hmm. me share one verse. Hmm. What is mentioned in the Quran? <clears throat> the Quran says, chapter 30, you know, verse number 22, that, وَاخْتِلَافِ uh, أَلْسِنَتِكُمْ وَالْوَانِكُمْ in the diversity of your languages and your colors are the sign hmm. of God, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Really? So uh, in the diversity of languages, so all the languages hmm. he has given us. Hmm. So if it would be Arabic, then he would give us only Arabic. Yeah, hmm. but, uh, but uh, he has given us uh, in the, uh, the diversity of languages because, because all the languages... You see, you're trying to avoid... Uh, we, all of us, we knew that Muhammad. there is languages. Muhammad, he knew there is many languages. This is not the question. You are, you are fabricating now a topic far away from our topic. The question is, when the Quran quotes Shaitan, is he quoting what Shaitan said word by word as it is, or he is fabricating? Because if you say to me that the Quran is translating Shaitan words, you have to give me a reference saying that Shaitan, he spoke in the language other than the language we are using in the Quran. Do you have any reference? No. Secondly, we showed you that Shaitan in the time of Adam, Adam and Shaitan exist in the same time. We're talking about the same story. When Allah created Adam, Allah said to Shaitan, bow down to Adam. I said, he did not say that to him, he said to angels, which is funny. And then when he did not bow down, he said to him, why you did not bow down? He said, you created me from fire, you created him from mud. So it happened in the same time. So what the language will be speaking? Let me ask you to make it simple. What is the language of people in heaven? I don't know. Actually, I said I don't know the language. What? 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 Uh, do you, what, 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 what hold on. What do you mean? What do you mean you don't know? No, I don't, uh, because I I, I I don't know which language was it. Uh, he replied. He was replying. But what I know. So no, 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 no. I'm asking you. Are you saying there is no reference saying that the language of Arabic is the language of people of heaven? Excuse me. Uh, Are you saying? that the language of heaven, you never heard, that the language of people of heaven is Arabic? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, what if we prove that? Is that going to prove? Because remember, Adam, because, because remember, my friend, Adam, Adam himself was in heaven, correct? Okay. Shaitan himself was in heaven, correct? Jannah. Jannah, yeah. Okay, so so if we can show you that Muhammad, he said that the language of people of heaven is Arabic, then this is the language they spoke. 
from the beginning. What do you think? Is that okay? Uh, oh, okay. So, uh, so if it is mentioned that uh, that uh, the language of Adam in Jannah was Arabic uh, uh, in uh, in authentic Hadith, so okay, that's okay. But uh, I don't know actually Hadith. Okay, you know, you know. So uh, when Muslim then they give an answer, and uh, and when the Muslim even they give a Hadith, let us say a Hadith is not as, uh, authentic. Why you Muslims even they have the Hadith if it's garbage? Why you Muslim you you confuse others and you confuse yourself between what is false and what it is not is it true? So why you have books full of garbage and one day we show you the garbage you say this is garbage and those hadith and, and, and hold on hold on uh, and and those hadith and those hadith when they when they are created are they created by liars and why the Muslim they carry them on? And why the Muslim did not reject them from the first day? And why the Muslim did not? Why the Muslim, if it's something rejected, why it's, it's printed? Why it's published? Why it's it, it's reserved? Why it's there? So you, what, this is what you Muslims do. The second we mention something for you, it's embarrassing. You say it is rejected. Correct. If I ask you right now, do you accept Sahih Bukhari? Is that the I cannot give the answer to this question because I'm expert in Quran, I'm not expert in Bukhari. Doesn't matter. So I, I doesn't know. matter. Doesn't matter. What is the most authentic book for you after the Quran? Give me a name. This is Bukhari. Okay. So if I show you now something from the Bukhari, are you going to accept it? I'm not expert. I, I have to. I have to. So that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's so, so, so to make it clear, yeah, to, to, ma to, to make it clear, to make it clear, it is moody. Yeah, okay. When we want Al Bukhari okay. is not good. When we want, he is the most authentic. When, if I quote for you out of Al Bukhari, you say no. Show me from Al Bukhari. If I show you from Al Bukhari, you say oh, it's I'm not going to accept Al Bukhari now. So. You have to show me from the Quran. Well, the Quran says, the Quran says, Allah, he said, Shaitan said, and it is in Arabic. He did not say anything else. He did not use different language. So you have to prove. When somebody comes with something, you have to prove it. I show it to you in Arabic. Allah said that Shaitan, he said. Can you show me anywhere in Islamic religion? Single hadith. Saying that Shaitan did not speak Arabic when Allah he spoke to him, can you show me that or not? No, I cannot. Okay, but I was able to show you, so you cannot deny what is in your books against nothing from your side. The Quran says Shaitan said that, otherwise if you are saying that Shaitan he did not say and Allah was translating, then Allah had to say, well I was translating, I'm translating to you what he said in that language, he did not say that, he is quoting word by word, not a translation. And actually, so, uh, what you just said, what you just said is extremely, hold on, what you just said is extremely dangerous, let me tell you why. Because if Allah is a translating what Shaitan is saying, that's mean Allah is fabricating the end of the words to fit with the Quran as stone. Which mean Allah is, is, is bending the statement of Shaitan. Like did Shaitan he end the word exactly as Allah he end them? What do you think? I say fat, you say rat. I say cat, you say chat. I say uh, 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 how, you know, like, is, is this what would happen? Or Allah now is adding letters, bending the words to fit with the music. What do you think? Yeah, this is a good point, but uh, but uh, I don't know what is the language. So that is why I said I don't know. Okay, so uh, so so don't so don't, my so, friend. Uh, as long you don't uh, know, then next time uh, don't uh, say uh, next time the, next time don't say to me something you do not know. Say I do not know and finish it. So what we know now, obviously, that this is cannot be the book of God because Shaitan is making words equal to God. Now we go back to zero. What do you mean, my dear brother? Uh, okay, one second, just one second. Uh, when we say uh, when we say that equal to God, so uh, what is mean? Uh, because uh, what I said is the Quran is not 
even you yourself you say you quote for me a verse from the Quran saying that Allah never sent the messenger except in the tongue of the people, correct? Mm. Okay. Yeah. And this is the question, what was the tongue of Adam? I don't know. Uh, so, don't, the so don't say then uh, it's, it wasn't Arabic. Because we have reference saying that Adam, he says, Alhamdulillah. Nowhere it says this is a translation. We have reference says that Adam, he saw the Shahada in Arabic. Don't say this is a translation. Because if you say it's a translation, you have to give me the language which Adam he spoke. Now listen, 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 listen. Now, as long you are the one, as long you are the one who mentioned this verse, which is a big problem for you now, you're in trouble. Chapter 14, verse 4. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِهِ لِيُبَيْنَ لَهُمْ فَيُضُلُّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيُضِلُّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ Okay. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِهِ We never sent a messenger except in the tongue of his own people. Do you agree with that? Yeah, of course. I... Okay. How you from, you are from, from where, from what country, my friend? I'm from Bangladesh. Yeah. Wonderful, Bangladesh. So you are from Bangladesh. How Muhammad became a messenger to you when the Quran says, we never send any messenger except in the language of his own people. So we have two conditions. Condition number one, he have to be speaking your language. Condition number two, he have to be from your people. Is Muhammad from Bangladesh? He speak a Bengal language. Is he or he's not? Of course. Uh, he's not. Of course not. Okay. So, uh, the question is, hmm. if, he, if he spoke in Arabic language, how can he be my prophet? So, because I'm, I'm from Bangladesh. Okay, that's a good point. But the answer is mentioned in the Quran, chapter 34, verse number 28. Uh, it is mentioned. Okay, let me check once again. What chapter you say? Uh, chapter 34. Uh, chapter 34, Surah Saba, uh, verse number 28. Chapter 34? Uh, chapter 34. Chapter 34, yeah. 30, Saba, 34, okay, 34, okay. Chapter, verse what? 28. 28, okay, go ahead. Uh, Wama or Salnaka, we have not sent you, uh, hmm. Muhammad Sassan, illa kafatal linnas, hmm. except uh, to all uh, people or to hmm. all mankind, yeah. Okay. Bashiro one and zero. Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. You see, in the front of me, I say translation. It says universal. Does it say universal? It says kafatan linnas, kafatan linnas. Doesn't say all mankind. Where is the word mankind? Where is the word universal? Where it says the word universal? Okay. All the people. Okay. Let us let us see. Let us see. Let us see. Okay. Hold on. Let us see how silly the conversation we have, me and you. Sadly, you just agreed that the Quran said, "I never send a messenger. Never, ever. Focus with me. Never, ever. I send a messenger unless he speak the tongue of his people." And then you say to me, this verse saying that Muhammad was sent for all mankind. I mean, who is the stupid here? If he is going, he, he said, I never. Okay, my my okay, friend, that, listen, listen. Let, let, is, let me finish my, my, my you know, uh, to, to explain. I never, ever, ever gotcha. send a messenger. He confirmed that never happened. Never happened, mm -hmm. never will happen. And the verse is mentioned in the time of Muhammad, not after Muhammad. So Muhammad is included. We never send a messenger except in the language of the people and his people, which means he have to be from them. Not only he speak the language, he have to be from the people. And then you say to me, this verse Muhammad saying that he was sent to all mankind. That would be stupid because this is a clear contradiction. Go ahead. Okay. So, so, so the question is that uh, he spoke in Arabic language and his language was Arabic. So uh, he, in, in this verse, verse, it is mentioned that he, he has, been, has been sent. 
to all mankind or to all people. Can you show me the word all mankind? No, it says for all the people. All the people where? Where those people live? Yeah, well, uh, the, the answer is mentioned in the next part. Well, I can act for Nasila Yalamun, but most of the people don't know. Okay, but, yeah, okay, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, okay, okay, hold on, 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 hold on. No, the, 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 the verse you mentioned, most of people do not know. That is a, a silly, a sorry to say to you, this is stupid. I mean, the guy, he is sent for them and they do not know. He is there already. But look, is it the Quran says that Allah, he sent Muhammad to the mother of the village and what is around it? Yeah, mother of the village, woman, hawlaha. Okay, what, and what is around it? And what is, okay guys, Allah, he sent, Allah, he sent Muhammad to the mother of the villages and what is around it? What is around it? Yeah, what is around it? The rest of the people. All the world is around, why? The earth is flat? Because uh, uh, it is the center, actually, we can, we can see uh -huh. the center. Uh -huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. Okay, so Mecca is the center. Mecca is the center of what? No, we can, we can say, I say, we can say, for example, uh, because you know, for example, mm. uh, the Eastern people, they pray towards the Western people. Uh, Western people, they pray towards the Eastern people. They're not. So, uh, so uh, we can say this is spiritual center. Yeah. So uh, this is not physical center because the, uh, the earth is the flat. This is round. So uh, this is not, uh, <laughs> we cannot say this is uh, in the center of the earth. This, is, uh, this will be nonsensical. Okay, okay, and, right, okay. Uh, okay, you know what? You know, uh, okay, wait, wait, listen, 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 listen. Let, let us make it simple. Allah, he never sent the messenger unless he speak the tongue of the people. What is the tongue of the people around Mecca? Yeah, he sent uh, in the language of the tongue of the people. In the language. In the time. The question is so, hold on, no, 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 not, not the time, don't lie. This has nothing to do with time. We never send a messenger unless he speak the tongue of the people. It doesn't matter what time, in the past, in the future, and now. We never send. And why he send it in Arabic? Why he send it in Arabic, my friend? Okay, let, let, why Allah he send the Quran in Arabic? Okay, let, let me make, make my understand. Mm. Uh, I want to understand myself. Mm. So, uh, in the tongue of the people means in the language of the people, right? Mm. What? In the tongue what? Yeah, okay. So, uh, we could... Say again, what? Okay. Yeah, in the language of the people. Okay, let, let, let's, mm. let's check another another verse also. For example, chapter 25, yeah, verse number one. Mm. Uh, one chapter 25, verse number one, it is mentioned, the for mm. uh, Blessed is he who sent down the criteria, this is the Quran, uh, mm. upon his servant that he may be a warner to Alamin. Mm. Alamin means to all nations. No, that's yeah. false. No, Ale, no, Alamin. The, the 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 Muslim believe there's two uh, there's two kind of creatures. There's genie and there's a human. Correct? Yeah. Okay. You Muslims, you Muslims, you Muslims, because of your prophet. Hold on. You, you Muslims, because your prophet, he said to you that. He was able to convert genie into Islam, correct? Yeah, uh, please excuse, uh, excuse me. Uh, I could not hear. Can you can you repeat? You must then believe that your prophet was able to convert the genie to Islam. Genie. Yeah, yeah. There is a there is a creature, a genie, a spiritual uh, creature. No, a, a, a genie are not spiritual a, a creature. Where do you get this from? Is it shaitan? Uh, is a genie? Uh, is it shaitan? Is a, is a genie? Uh, so how you make him a spiritual creature? Huh? No, once again, once again. What do you mean, shaitan? Shaitan. The word shaitan has been used for referring to uh, among mankind and among jinn. So shaitan does not mean uh, only among the jinn. So shaitan just means who who has gone astray or far away. From no, the no, 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 no. You are mixing mixing things upside down, my friend. Isn't it the Quran make a definition that shaitan is one of the genie? 
Yeah, Satan was, uh, he was Iblis, he was among the jinn. Okay, so he is one of the jinn, correct? He's one of them. One of the jinn, yeah. Okay, so they have the same nature, right? Yeah, let, let me share the verse. Chapter 18, verse number 15. Which this... is one, one second, let me check. Hmm. Chapter 18, verse number uh, 15, one second. <clears throat> Yeah, chapter 18, verse number 15. It is mentioned that why the Qur'an in Malaika is Juduli Adam of Hasadillah, Iblis Kama Min Al Jin. That okay. means mentioned when we say uh, to the angels, mm. prostrate to uh, Adam or Adam, and mm. they prostrate except Iblis, mm. and he was uh, of the Jin. So he was among the Jin, yeah. Okay. So, what's so, the question? So he's not a, a spiritual creature because this is funny because it says, and we showed you from the first verse that Shaitan he said to Allah, why I will bow down to Adam if you created me from fire and you created him from mud? So how you made him a spiritual of a, a, a creature? That's very funny. Secondly, let us go back to the topic. Hold on. Let's listen. You, you are taking me away from the topic now. Listen, listen, listen. So Shaitan is one from the jinn. We agree both, both of us. Now, Shaitan is one of the jinn. Was Muhammad able to convert Shaitan into Islam? No, he was able to convert a jinn uh, into Islam, not, not Satan. Satan. Satan just means who has gone astray. Okay, you know how to read Satan Arabic. You know how to read Arabic, correct? Yeah, I can. I can read the Quran. I can read the Quran. Yeah. Yeah, I you can, can read. read. You can make. You can make the reading the, the the Arabic, right? Okay. So, uh, let us see what the Hadith says. This is the Hadith in the front of your eyes. I want you to read it for me. I want you to practice a little of your Arabic because you know how to read letters. Oh, I can help you. Here it says, Aisha, she said, Iltamastu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fa'adkhaltu yadi fi sha'rihi. Faqal, qad jaaaki shaytanuki. Faqalat, ama laka shaytanun? Faqal, bala, walakin allaha a'anani alayhi fa'aslam. The whole word here is what is shaitan. Do you see the word genie there? There's no genie. Mm -hmm. Okay. What happened to shaitan at the end? He says, Allah. Allah, yeah. Allah help me against shaitan and he became a Muslim. Correct? Uh, hmm. Yeah, one of the, uh, my dear brother, uh, Satan, Satan is uh, uh, among the jinn who has gone astray and he has become, for example, among the human beings also, there are some uh, good people, bad people, and uh, for example, one bad Hold on, person, hold on, hold on, hold. so there is a good shaitan and a bad shaitan now, there's a good shaitan and bad shaitan. He did not say, we're not talking about jinn now, we are talking, he mentioned clearly, he said, shaitan, shaitan, shaitan. I asked you, is the word genie there mentioned? You said no. It says shaitan. So if there's a good shaitan in Islam and bad shaitan too? My dear brother, shaitan is not, pro, uh, shaitan just means who has gone as far. And this may be among the jinn, this may be among the, among the human beings. My friend, beings. the question is very simple. This is not just... Your prophet, he mentioned the word shaitan. If there's a good shaitan and bad shaitan in Islam? No, there are, there are good jinn. And is, so, this, so don't go there then, don't go there, we are not talking about the genie now. We knew that shaitan is one of the genie, but now he's a shaitan, already he's a shaitan. He is not, he is one of the genie, yes, as a kind, but he's a shaitan. And, he, and your prophet caught him as a shaitan. So is sh how Muhammad was able to make shaitan to become a Muslim? My dear brother, he, he was not Satan, he was Iblis. Yeah, so, we, can, we can say Iblis. Hold on, so, he, he was what? He, he was, was what? Iblis, he, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. You see, when you talk to me, I like to put stop so we can understand. You said he was not Shaitan, he was Iblis. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, uh, let me clarify one second. Hmm. So uh, he was uh, among the jinn. Hmm. He was, uh, his name was Iblis, and hmm. he, did not, uh, he did not follow the commandment of God. Hmm. That is why he was called Satan. Satan just means who have gone astray from the path of God. Hmm. And what about, so, so, so who, is the, who is those Shaitan? Satan okay, those, those Satans, my, dear brother, those Satan, my friend, the Quran mentioned too that there is Shaitan, not only one Shaitan, correct? Yeah, okay. So if there's only, if there's only, if there's okay. So if there's only one iblis, who are they, the shayateen? 
No, who said if they are? First of all, I, I said the Shaitan or Shaitan is not a name or is not a title. It just means who has gone astray from the path of, the path of God. So there are so many Shaitan. I lost you. Okay, so you are saying to me that those shaitans are being deceived genie, correct? Yeah, they are, they are, they are bad, bad, bad human beings, they are from uh, bad genie, yeah. Okay, as I know, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, that the Quran say that shaitan, he have children and he had sex. Can you show me, please? All right, we will go to the shaitan. It says, Are you going to take him and her, his little children as your leaders, as your worshippers? Here we go. So are you saying that this is not a true, that shaitan, he don't have kids, and Allah is lying? My dear brother, shaitan, shaitan is not a name. It just, it is an Arabic word. My friend, my friend here, Allah, your God, call him Iblis. You told me his name is Iblis, correct? Yeah, his, his name was Iblis. Okay, Iblis. so now we are talking specifically about Iblis, which is very funny to find in the Quran, because you, we were talking about languages. How Allah he used the word Iblis if Quran is Arabic book? I mean, how the first devil, his name is Iblis, go and see where the word Iblis is coming from, and you will die laughing. So now, let us focus here. That shaitan, which is Iblis here, the Muslim translated in English as, as shaitan, but in Arabic, in Arabic it says Iblis. He was one of the jinn. Are you going to take him and his children and his offspring as lords instead of me? Did Allah lie when he says yeah, his please offspring? Give, Did, please give me the verse, yeah? It's in front of you, chapter 18, verse number 50. Uh, one second, first. Yeah, so, chapter 18, verse number 50, yeah. Mm, okay. So, uh, it's so, not so, that, uh, so, Shaitan, he have kids, correct? Okay, okay, let me clarify one second. Why the Adam do illa Iblis? So, when we said, and just uh, prospect uh, to Adam, just said, uh, accept Iblis. So, Iblis here is the name of the jinn, uh, of that jinn. Okay, hmm. so uh, but uh, Kanamin al Jin, he was among the Jin, hmm. and his name was Iblis, hmm. but he became Satan, hmm. means he he has he had gone astray from the path of God. Hmm. Satan is not a name, it's not a title, it just means someone who has gone astray from the path of God. Hmm. So, if I go astray from the path of God in Arabic, I will say, I am Satan, uh -huh, okay. I am Shaitan. This, means, is, this I, is not I, the I, question, I, my friend. You are wasting my time, you are wasting my time, like you are like a taxi driver. You know, you tell him where to go, and he asks you, how are you doing? Where have you been? Are you, are you in a rush? Do you have time? My friend, I'm asking you, is it true that the Quran say that this Iblis, this, this person, Shaitan, Iblis, whatever you want to give him definition, that he is the one and his kids after him is what you will follow? Yes or no? Uh, uh, Shaitan is not one one person. Or this one is not person. the question. This is not the question. Why? You see, you are make, don't make me lose my voice. And, and, and people, they say, Christian friends, you have to be patient. I mean, how I can be patient? I am I am so patient with you. Honest to God. I mean, you need a special patience to deal with Muslims. My friend, the question is very simple. The verse in the front of us saying it clearly that you are going to follow a specific person. His name is Iblis. And his children's not others, genie, his children's. Does it say that in the verse or not? Yeah, what do you think? Exactly. So when Muhammad, he said that shaitan, he became a Muslim, he's talking about one of the kids of Iblis. Yeah, uh, the, uh, it may be that uh, there, there are so many descendants of, of Iblis, but uh, it doesn't mean that Iblis is the only Shatan, because there are so many. This is not the question. Shatan. This no. is not the question. So now we have the children of Iblis, who the Quran says they are evil. How Muhammad, he convert Shaitan to Islam. And here I need to ask you too, as long as we are mentioning this funny story, 
How is Shaitan here have kids? Uh, descendants, uh, it may be uh, understood that uh, it, it means that those who followed him, uh, so, yeah. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. What, uh, you make me dizzy now. I have a cross eyes because of your answer. I'm asking you now, how Shaitan have kids? How he, he have kids, how he, you know, I, in order to have kids, I have to go and get married. All right? So, Shaitan, he have kids. What happened? How he got his kids from? Where he got them from? Uh... Yeah, my dear brother, uh, uh, we have to we have to make clarify that Zuriyata mm hope. -hmm. So if if we understand in this way that this means uh, the kids and children, that means he has uh, he he has wife and uh, he he has uh, children. So uh, I don't know how uh, the Tafsir writer they understood it. Okay, let us let let me help you. Are you saying you never heard that Shaitan he had sex and he lay eggs? No, I'm not sure that he, he had wives and he had something like that. No, I did not say he have wives. I said he have sex and he lay eggs. I did not say the word wife. Did I say the yeah. word wife? Okay. How he lay eggs, do you agree with that? Uh, are, are, are you quoting from the Quran or? I'm quoting from Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm no, asking yeah. you, have you ever heard this before or not? No, I have not heard uh, okay. this, this statement. Well, you're a prophet, he said, that Shaitan, before you enter the market, don't be the first one to enter the market, because Shaitan, he lay eggs in it. Is that correct? I don't know, actually. Well, this is Sahih Muslim. The prophet says, uh, mm -hmm. Don't, if you can help, be the first to enter the market and the last who leave it because it is an era, er, arena of shaitan, the uh, standard of shaitan said there. Look, look, look at the first translation, guys, look at the translation. What standard shaitan? I mean, they cannot, you cannot believe it, how much they try to lie in the translation. It says in Arabic, how in the world became a standard? Is that the standard narrative have holes? Let us take, let us see, try to find the hadith in, in the original, in the, in the book of Sahih Muslim. I mean, it's amazing how they try to cover in the translation what is there. Let us see. And this is Sahih Muslim, remember. Uh -huh. Let us see. We are trying to find the original hadith. <laughs> Shaitan, he lay eggs. All right. Uh... <clears throat> but uh, I, I, want, I want to understand myself one, one, thing, one issue because uh, in the Quran, the word Shaitan, yeah. Shaitan has mm. been used for, for mankind also, right? Yeah, you also know. Uh, for 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 uh, referring to mankind also, uh, for example, it is mentioned. Yeah, 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 yeah no, but, 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 but this is not what we are talking about. Here we are talking about literally the offspring of Shaitan. Correct? We are talking yeah, about the offspring yeah, of Shaitan. Yeah? Okay. I'm so, you. This is so, so here the translation, the translation. I could not find the original one. The translation is that Shaitan he lay eggs. Is it true that Shaitan he lay eggs? Yeah, I don't know actually. Okay, let us see if this is true or not. Uh, we can go and see. I mean, if you as a Muslim, if you want to understand a, a verse in the Quran like this, where do you go? Where do you go? Uh, first of all, Quran has explained itself. Ah, uh -huh. so, here we go. I'm asking you to explain it. You, you have no idea. It says his offspring. It doesn't say anything else. Explain it for me. So if the Quran explains itself, so why you Muslim, you have all those books of Tafsir? You are trying to fool who, my friend? If the Quran explains itself, why we have Tafsir? Why we have uh, 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 a thousand of books to explain a verse? If we do not need them. Yeah, 
No, I, I say that Quran has explained itself, and Quran has been explained by uh, by uh, by Sunnah, by Hadith. Yeah. The Quran has been explained by uh, by the scholar. But, uh, but uh, we have to keep in mind that Quran is the criteria. This is what I, what. I okay, let us that, see. Uh, let us see. Okay, let, let me ask you: When the Muslim scholar, when the Muslim scholar explain the Quran, they fabricate uh, explanation or they are being truthful? Different opinions and uh, perspective uh, for understanding the well, Quran. All Quran, opinion, Quran, all Quran, opinion Quran, agree. Quran, yes, all opinion uh, agree. Hold on. This is Al Qurtubi in the front of me. It says that Shaitan, Iblis, he used to have a penis in the right side of his thigh and he had a vagina in the left side of his thigh. And when he want to have sex with himself, he just shake his legs and he enter this into that by doing nikah. فَهُوَ يَنْكَحُ هَذَا بِهَذَا فيخرج له كل يوم عشر بيضات ويخرج من كل بيضة سبعون شيطانا وشيطانا So if he want to if himself, excuse my language, this is what the word is nikah, and this is the proof that Muslims, they lie to us when they say nikah means marriage. Here we go, shaitan marrying himself, no. ينكح هذا بهذا So he, if this by that, he intercourse, that's what nikah mean. ينكح هذا بهذا فيخرج له So every day he will lay down ten eggs and from every egg will come 70 male and female shaitana. We can pick and translate in Google. So everybody can see that we are not making things up. Here we go. So, hold on, so, hold on. Uh, which, which is this? Oh, cool to be. So here, here, here is the verse. You will take him and his offspring as guardians or, or Lord. This is Google translation, as you see. So it says here, I learned that uh, uh, I can all, uh, the translation is, uh, is funny. He said the devil inserted in his vagina into his private part, this is the word penis. So he lay five eggs, and this is the origin of his offspring. And it was said, God Almighty created for him a male in his right thigh and a vagina in the left. So he merged this into this. He, this is what Nukah, he f this with that. And he produced eggs for him every day, 10 eggs actually. And from, from every egg, 70 devil, male and female, they come out. So the Quran, when the Quran say, Shaitan, he have offspring. Okay, let me, let me ask you. Okay, let me ask you a question. So is there any hadith regarding to this kind of statement or any? any my friend, my friend, look, look how funny, how funny, how funny are you? You are saying to me, if there is any hadith, well, you Muslims quoting this from where? You, you, you when your scholar, his, his books is exist there, and you teach, you, you teach those are your top scholars, and nobody, nobody, you see, if we make a cartoon against Muhammad, you Muslims will go crazy. If somebody insult the Prophet, you want to kill him. Those people, they are praised as the best of you. Their books is published in, this is the website of Saudi Arabia, official government website. Nobody complain, why? Because they believe in it. So how come suddenly you are saying to me where this is coming from? Yeah, this is one kind of opinion of him, uh, because uh, other, other, other Tafsir writers, they didn't mention this kind of uh, statement, yeah? So, uh, so for example, Ibn Qasir, uh, he didn't okay. mention, okay. Uh, for example, uh, uh, <clears throat> Yeah, uh, for, uh, for example, uh, Maududi, Maulana Maududi, uh, in his Tafsir al Quran. Hmm. So he didn't mention okay. the Tafsir I study, this is Maulana Maududi. Uh, ah. This is the Tafsir I study. Okay. So, uh, al Maududi, so my friend. There are, there are... Okay, this is your prophet saying that. What we will do now? Isn't this your prophet saying that Shaitan he lay eggs? It's your prophet, he says Shaitan lay eggs. So, you, so now we have Sahih Muslim. And we have the hadith and we have the interpretation saying it clearly that shaitan he lay eggs. Is Muhammad lying to? Okay, uh, give me the reference. Actually, if, I'm you, I'm if you go in the same page, oh, sorry, if, yeah. hold on. If you go in the same page, let me see if I still have it open. Here. You will see here it says, let us go down. Uh, The Messenger of God, may Allah bless him, grant him peace. Hmm? He said, don't be 
the first to enter the market nor the last to exit exit it uh where is the part he says he lives hold on hold on hold on because it says there see the translation is for it's stupid here the translation should say for he the shaitan he lay eggs here the translation can be very funny so he lay eggs Huh? Uh, this is Sahih Muslim. I don't see. I don't see the number here. But you can find the same hadith in Riyadh Salihin, hadith number one eight four two. Or you can do go to Al Qurtubi. However, all of them they are giving reference that this is from Sahih Muslim, as you see. Here we go in front of you. It says Sahih Muslim. Uh, Actually, I cannot check because the number is not is not uh, mentioned. Okay, let me yeah. let me let me find it for you. So, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me find this hadith for you, which is from Sahih Muslim. Actually, here it says it's reported by Muslim. Do you see it? It says, "Rawahu Muslim hakada." Rawahu Muslim hakada. Wal barakani fi Sahihi. It says even this is authentic. Look, 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 read with me. Does it say here in front of your eyes, and you claim that you know a little bit of Arabic? It's reported by Sahih Muslim, as it is, and Urawahu al-Baraqani fi Sahihi in the authentic book. An Salman qal, qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, etc. So this is authentic. You Muslims agree that this is very authentic. Shaitan, he lay eggs. And the Quran says, that you are going to take his offspring. So what we are talking about now, confirm from the hadith and the explanation that shaitan have babies and those babies are coming from eggs. And then Muhammad, he made one of the eggs of, of shaitan, of his spring, convert to Islam. So shaitan is not a pure evil. Let me let me uh, clarify myself uh, this point because uh, the, when we said the word shaitan, it also refers to uh, human beings also. Yeah. My friend, so, my friend, this is not no, this, uh, this is not what you are talking about. I, 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 this is not what we are talking about. This is not what you are talking about. This is not what we are talking about. You're a prophet. Make it clear. No, 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 no. There's I can say to somebody you are a shaitan, but he's not. I'm talking about his behavior, his you know how how bad he is, etc. But doesn't mean really he has a shaitan. When we say shaitan and we are speaking about a person, he is not a human. That is a shaitan. That's it. So you're a prophet saying that he converted his shaitan into Islam. He did not convert a human into Islam. And he called him shaitan. And he claimed that shaitan have babies. And all the one will mislead us, they are from the babies of Shaitan. And we show you the verse from the Quran. And we show you the interpretation of the verse. So now, in order to get away from this, you come with your own interpretation. The Quran says offspring of Shaitan. The Muslim explained the offspring. They say Shaitan, he have yes babies, and Shaitan, he lay eggs. In the top of that, you're a prophet, he claimed that Shaitan he have sex with Muslim women. Is that correct? Huh? Uh, my dear brother, okay, okay, let me let me share one verse. Yeah, first of all, hmm. uh, because this is this is the same topic. Uh, uh, let me clarify. Chapter two, verse number fourteen. You can see it. Uh, chapter two, verse number fourteen. When they meet, uh, those who believe, they say, we believe, but when they meet, uh, they say, we believe, but when they meet, we believe, but when they meet, alone, alone with the shaitan. Hmm. So this word shaitan is referring to those human beings. So it may be that among the <laughs> okay, shaitan, hold on. Do you accept? Do you accept? Do you do you, do you do you accept that the interpretation of the verse, or you have the, you have your own verses, your your own interpretation? Any verse you quote for me? Do you do you accept? Do you accept your do you accept your scholars? Do you accept shaitani he, my friend? You see, you don't you, you claim that you have knowledge. Shaitani he, you're a prophet. He claimed that everyone he have a shaitan accompany him, and this is what Aisha she's talking about, and Muhammad. Aisha she wanna have sex. She came to Muhammad. She said to him, she she put her hand in her his hair. Muhammad, he claimed that the behavior of Aisha by putting her hand in his hair, 
that her shaitan is making her do that. And the reason Muhammad is accusing Aisha of shaitan, making her want to have sex with him, because he cannot have sex. This is why if we go in the Quran, hold on. Okay. Uh, this is why if we go in the Quran, there's a verse that says, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. You see, as long, as long, uh, as long you, you know, you said the Quran, as long you said the Quran explain itself. I will take advantage of you. Hmm? No, 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 don't change, don't change. Don't change. Listen, you are the one who can explain the Quran, and I want to take advantage of this. Chapter 113, chapter, chapter 113, verse number 3. Can you explain to me this verse? Chapter, uh, chapter 113. 113, the whole chapter is like a few words. I mean, the uh, very, very funny chapter. You know, it's two words, the whole chapter. I don't know how they make it a chapter, but <laughs> what you can say. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, which verse? Okay. It says here, "Min sharri rasiqin, rasiqin is a waqab." What rasiqin is a waqab? What is that? What waqab mean? Waqab, uh, when uh, it is. Uh, okay. What is meant by waqab? Just one second. Hmm. Uh, the translation is because this is this is the uh, this is critical word actually uh, from the evil of darkness when it is it it uh, settles uh, this is the from uh, mm. uh, when it settles uh, it means that at, at the time of darkness uh, so mm. it may be there are uh, some bad things in the nature so uh, I am seeking uh, uh, refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from all kinds of uh, evil things uh, in the darkness yeah what so, does that mean uh, this is is that is that about shaitan or it's about something else no this, uh, this is not about shaitan uh -huh. read, uh, read, read, uh, read the verse after it read the verse after it hmm? uh, uh, from the evil of the uh, blowers or in knots uh, okay. it means uh, the magician or something like that, the magic hmm. influence, yeah? Okay. So, so? This, is, this is about magic influence. And, uh, about what? About what? That, about uh, what? About what? Listen, listen you are speaking too fast, my friend. I'm trying to understand you. So, in Shari Rasiqin is a waqab. What does this have to do with the witchcraft? What is the connection? What happened? Uh, I, I think. Uh, what happened when night come, and there is a word is called waqab. Later we will go for it, and then he says, "And the, from the evil of witchcraft." Okay, uh, let me check the tafsir. Yeah. Okay, what tafsir you want uh, to check? Uh, tafsir al Quran. This is the tafsir I, I studied. Which which tafsir? That is written by who? Tafsir al Quran. Uh, Maulana Maududi. Yeah. Who is this guy Maududi? <laughs> Who is this guy, Maududi? Yeah, he's a scholar. He's a scholar, really? Uh, he's from... Mm. Yeah, of course, he's a scholar. Mm, okay, so do you accept a Maududi then? Uh, yeah, I study uh, this tafsir, uh, tafsir uh, much more no, than right. anything else. Okay. So, uh, he, he mentioned, uh, just once again, he mentioned that Omishari was from the evil uh, of night's darkness when it uh, spreads around. It means he, in his commentary, he said, uh, after seeking Allah's refuge, generally I'm reading, yeah, mm. uh, from the evil uh, of the creatures, now prayer is being poured for seeking refuge from the evil of some spe special uh, creatures in, mm. uh, in particular. Mm. Okay? The mm. word Gosek in this verse, verse literally means dark. Yeah, thus, uh, at another place and, in, in the Quran, it may, it has been said, Ishtab is the Salat, hmm. uh, from the declining of the sun hmm. uh, to the darkness of the night. Okay, uh, so and what, word what the word waqab mean? Okay. What the word waqab mean? Yeah, waqab means to enter or to over a spirit. Wonderful, uh, wonderful, thought, wonderful. Guys, over, to enter, to enter, what is going to enter? What is entering what? To enter to a... Okay, let, let me finish the... the then I, I can... I can no, 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 finish. one by one. What is going to enter? Enter what? What is going to enter what? 
enter uh, enter uh, uh, something for example enter into the house yeah enter into our body is it possible uh, maybe enter is it is it possible body. that this is about penis Of course not. <laughs> uh -huh. What is the Arabic word for penis? Okay. Do you want to do you want to make a challenge that this is about penis? Do you want to challenge me? Yeah. I, yeah. Of course I challenge. I don't agree. You, you don't say no. 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 Word. There's different. You agree or not? Do you do you dare to challenge me? This is not about agree. This is not about about me and you. Do you dare to challenge me to prove to you from your Islamic books that this is about the penis of Muhammad? And the, penis of Muhammad, and the penis of Muhammad could not and the penis of Muhammad could not function because when Aisha she came to him trying to sleep with him Muhammad in order to get rid of her he says to her your Satan come to you Aisha and then he recite these verses saying that the rest of the verse which you know that when the night come and when the penis stand is that correct explanation for the verse, or I'm making things up? Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. This is, a, this right. is making up by some nonsense. All right. Well, the one is lying. Okay. Let us make an agreement, me and you. The one is lying, he have to agree. That he's lying. You have to admit, correct? Do you agree? Yeah, of course. If, if yeah, I All agree. Right. Okay. I will put it in the screen in a second. Give me a second. Uh, what is mentioned uh, in this topic? Into our two uh, our street. Hold on, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't change topic. Don't, 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 change, don't change the topic. Don't, don't, change, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. I don't say things unless it's true. And you should know better. No, you, you should know. You should know yeah, that you are talking to Christian Prince and people they will challenge him. And if he fails to prove what he say, people will laugh, right? So when we say something, we have to prove it. Okay. Let us see. Yeah, of course. Okay, let me finish. Oh, don't change the topic. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. And Ibn Abbas, and in Tafsir, and Ibn Abbas, رضي الله عنه, ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب قال قيام الذكر. Translate for me. Do you know what I'm saying? No, don't finish. Don't finish. No, don't finish. So, is it about the penis of your prophet? Yes or no? Okay, let me check if Kara answer. Hmm. What? Okay. What uh, so mentioned uh, this from uh, Ibn Nazir report a similar uh, hadith. The same was. Uh, My friend, read, read uh, with me in the screen. Read with me in the screen. I'm showing you the reference in the screen. I can show it to you from tons of books, not only one. Not only one. Endless books. Ghasiqun idha waqab is the stand up of the penis excuse my language guys when the penis get excited it says in the front of you i'm going to click in the front of everybody hold on you see guys this is not that i'm not did i say i did i say even the name of the the one who said that explanation is ibn abbas do you agree with ibn abbas or you don't Okay, let me check. Let me check first of all uh, what it now is. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, in Tafsir ibn Qasid, it is not mentioned. So you can understand from Tafsir ibn Qasid. Oh, you want, you so, want only from Ibn Kathir? So, hmm? You want only Ibn Kathir? Yeah, I want only Ibn Kathir. No, I said uh, because first of all you mentioned that this is mentioned in the Tafsir ibn Kathir. So, so I, I no, I did not I say this is from Ibn Kathir. I, I did not say this is from Ibn Kathir. I did not say this. I did not say anything about Waqaf from Ibn Kathir. I'm saying to you, you say what are true true Muslims? Uh, since we start talking until now, we did not we did not say even Ibn Kathir. What are you talking about? This verse here, according to Ibn Abbas, according to Ibn Abbas, is it about the penis of Muhammad? Yes or no? Of course not. It is not. So why Ibn Abbas saying that? 
Okay, let me check. One second. This is volume uh, number two. Number volume number two, page number twenty-eight, and this is your Islamic website, Islam Port. Ahya wa Ulum al-Din by the Imam al-Ghazali. We will click at the translate into English in front of everybody's eyes. But uh, the tafsir what I have downloaded uh, before Ibn Abbas, so this kind of statement he didn't mention or he didn't say. <laughs> Uh, I did not say, I, you, know, you, you know, you are not listening, Ibn Abbas said, did I say Tafsir Ibn Abbas as Ibn Abbas said? Not everything Ibn Abbas said, the Tafsir Ibn Abbas actually is not even a book written by Ibn Abbas. It's a guy who collect what Ibn Abbas say to put it in a book, but he did not mention everything Ibn Abbas said. So you are not listening. I'm asking you, does it say that or I'm making things up? Uh... Uh, so I uh, don't know what uh, what Ibn Qasim mentioned from Ibn Abbas. He said uh, something else. So I'm not sure what he said. Hmm. Okay. For example, uh, Ibn, Ibn, Ibn Abbas. Uh, sorry, Ibn Qasim mentioned from from Ibn Abbas. The waqab refers to setting up. What? Sounds so darkness from the from the evil of darkness means uh, the for example the Tafsir uh, Quran multi dimensioned that from the crimes of the darkness. Because in the dark, listen, 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 listen. Why we are wasting our time? The question is, am I lying or Ibn Abbas? He said that. What do you think? Am I lying or Ibn Abbas? Or Ibn Abbas? He said that word by word. That this is about the penis of Muhammad. My dear brother, uh, in, in Ibn Qasir, uh, he mentioned from Ibn Abbas, and in my tafsir, what I downloaded Ibn Abbas, uh, this kind of statement uh, is not mentioned. So how can I be sure that he's... Well, I am, showing you, I'm showing you the, I am showing you the reference. I am showing you the reference. How you can be sure? I'm showing the reference. Can you show me a reference against my reference? Uh, but uh, but uh, Ibn, uh, Ibn Qasir also mentioned what Ibn Abbas said. So uh, this kind of statement is... So what if Ibn Kathir uh, did not mention? Ibn hold on, Ibn hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So do you accept Ibn Kathir? Say yes. Do you accept Ibn so, uh, Do you accept? No, no, no. Uh, Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. You see, I just, I'm going to show everybody the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. Ibn Kathir did not say that, so you are saying to me, Ibn Kathir for me is a point of understanding. If Ibn Kathir says so, I will accept. So, I'm asking you, do you accept Ibn Kathir? Do you accept, uh, regarding this verse or... Uh, Doesn't matter, is Ibn Kathir a guy you depend on to explain the Quran or he is not valid? Is he valid? He's valid, of course he's valid, but it doesn't mean... It doesn't mean that uh, uh, everything what he said is absolutely right. So okay. Yeah. So do we accept? Do we accept if Ibn Kathir says something to be true? Uh, I, I will justify uh, with the Quran. If it contradicts the Quran, I will not accept it. Yeah. Uh -huh. So Ibn Kathir is not valid because let me ask you here. No, here. Okay, Ibn Kathir, okay, where Ibn Kathir? Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. I quoted for you Ibn Kathir in the beginning when I said to you that Adam, he said as Alhamdulillah. Where in the Quran it says that Adam, he said Alhamdulillah, and Ibn Kathir is quoting it? Yeah, he wrote in, uh, uh, in his in Arabic language, so Alhamdulillah, so he, he just... Uh, so I'm asking you, do you accept Ibn Kathir or not? That Alhamdulillah, he's speaking in Arabic language. Ah, in Arabic language, yeah. So do you accept Ibn Kathir or you don't accept Ibn Kathir? <laughs> So if my dear brother Ibn Kathir didn't say, he said in Arabic language. He mentioned, he said Alhamdulillah. So this is what he said. So is he lying or he is telling the truth? My dear brother, he didn't say that he said in Arabic language. He just translated. No, uh, no. It says he said he did not translate. No way. Yeah. You are a liar. Sorry to say that for the first time. 
because he said he said alhamdulillah he said he said alhamdulillah and not only that we show you the other hadith where adam he left up his head to the sky and he saw the name of muhammad written in the throne is the name of muhammad and the shahada written in arabic you said i do not know so you muslims when you want you take a hadith when you want you dump the hadith when you want you accept a scholar when you want you dump the star as an example as long as we are mission ibn Kathir, and we don't want to change the topic but just to show the hypocrisy of of the muhammadan people listen no listen listen oh, listen according to the quran do women have a sperm yes or no yes According to the Quran, do women have a sperm, yes or no? What? <laughs> what? Do women have a sperm, yes or okay, no? Uh, yeah, okay, you have to give me the box, yeah. Okay, chapter 86, verse number 7. Chapter 85? Chapter 86, verse number 7. You can read verse number 6, 7, 8 as, as you wish. So you don't say we are misquoting. Uh, I shall, I yeah, I shall go to uh, that verse. Uh, let me sh share one verse and I shall go to that. Uh, it is mentioned in the Quran chapter 39, verse number 18. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We, 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 don't, we don't want to change. We, we will go back. We will go back. I promise you. Let us focus on the Mikathir just to show you how in a second you will bite your fingers. You will say Mikathir is an idiot. I'm asking you, do you accept the interpretation of Mikathir for this verse? Chapter 86, verse no. number 7. No. No. Why? No, of course not. Of Why, course not? Why not? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Why not? Because this is not what the is telling. Yeah, I don't agree. Why? Why? Who are you? A second ago, you said, if Ibn Kathir said, I will accept it. A second after, if Ibn Kathir he said, he, I will not accept it. Who are you? Ibn Kathir, uh, okay, one second. Ibn Kathir mentioned this tafsir, okay? So, uh, in Tafimul Quran, what I study, uh, he mentioned in different uh, uh, explanation or commentary. Mm -hmm. In another tafsir also, uh, it may be different or, uh, explanation or co and commentary. So, mm -hmm. uh, which one shall I accept? So, uh, that is why I'm sharing the verse, chapter 39, it is mentioned in the Quran, chapter 39, verse number 18, mm -hmm. that Allah dina astami'una al-qawla fayattabi'una ahsana. Those who listen the uh, different views and opinions and uh, commentary and mm -hmm. perspective mm -hmm. and follow the best. Of it. So okay. What is, telling me? is there is, is there is best than your prophet words? Opinions of the of the scholars and uh, every person. I'm asking you. Yeah. So uh, oh, 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 no, no, no. Is there is best? Yeah. Is there is best than your prophet words? Pardon? If yeah. there is if there is best, you said you will follow the best of it. So are you saying to me the Quran? Allah, you see how you contradict yourself. You said to me the Quran is a clear explain itself. And now you are saying to me the Muslim they will they will they will, they will, they will follow the best of the interpretation. <laughs> Listen, when you're a prophet say it, when you're a prophet say it, this is your this is your prophet, this is your prophet saying that the woman she have a sperm, and this sperm is yellow water she 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 see in her private part when she have orgasm. Do you agree with your prophet? Or your prophet is not valid, the same as Ibn Kathir for you now. Okay, uh, okay. Let, let, let me tell you one thing. Just one. Thing. So uh, when you said that Quran is clear, I I, I said. You, Don't tell me anything. Please answer the question, and then we can go there. Do you agree with your prophet, or he is the same as Ibn Kathir? He is fabricating words. He said the messenger of Allah said. The man water is white and thick, and this is the sperm of the man, the semen of the man, we understand that. And the women water is a thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. Do you agree with that? I don't know, actually. Uh, this is a hard to do, and... Uh, uh -huh. So, uh, 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 how come a second... What do you mean you do not know? Your prophet said that this is Sahih. Do you accept what your prophet or you, you don't accept what your prophet said? As simple as that. What do you mean you don't know? Regarding, regarding to hadith, yeah, regarding to hadith, first of all, most of the hadith are neutral. Do you know neutral means? Abdul, it says no, sahih. No, no, it says no, let, 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 it is sahih. And actually, this is what Ibn Kathir, he quoted. Hold on. Let me show everybody how hypocrite you are. Is it Ibn Kathir? Is it Ibn Kathir? He based his interpretation based on your prophet words? Or no? 
Okay, uh, uh, let, uh, let me tell you first of all. No, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Does it say they are Does it say they are Sahih? Does it say they are Sahih or not? Does it say they are Sahih or not? Does it say Sahih? Yeah, it is says uh, it is Sahih. Okay, is that is Sahih yeah. mean authentic or it's mean fabricated? No, so he means authentic. It okay. Mean, so, for example, there are some Sahih hadith. Oh, let me tell you, let me tell you. Mm, tell there are some Sahih hadith which mm. contradict the Quran. I don't accept it. So, uh, you cannot say that this is Sahih and Sahih. No. So, because Quran is the Stop, Quran. stop, uh, stop, Quran. stop, Quran. stop, Quran. stop. You said it's contradict the Quran. I challenge you to show me what is the contradiction. The Quran, the verse I quote for you, it says that man's sperm is coming from the backbone of the man and the sperm of the woman is coming from the breast of the, the women, the breast bones. How this is going to the Quran? Read it. My, my, my dear brother, the, the word woman is not mentioned in the verse. So it mentioned. Was, no, it mentioned. Uh, it's it's you, your ignorance. It's your ignorance. Here we go. The word tara'ib is a word used for the women bone, which is the necklace bone. You can go and check the dictionary. This is only for women. If I go right now, do you want me to show you that not only Ibn Kathir, all Islamic interpretation, which I know, they say and they agree that a taraib is the location of the necklace of the women bone, where the neck and the chest, they meet specifically. So this is a word used for women. And you are saying to me, the word women does not say that because you are ignorant. So it says here that a gaseous fluid, hold on, a gaseous fluid, a gaseous fluid, okay, hold on, gaseous fluid coming from where? From between the backbone. What the backbone have to do with sperm? No, it doesn't say from the backbone. It says between. So you have to understand. No, it says backbone. You are a liar again. Here we go. The word backbone here, it says a soul. Hmm? It says backbone. Yeah, from, uh, mean, okay, okay, let me let me tell you. Mean binding, mean binding means between. Okay, uh, well, it is not from the backbone. Between what? Between what? Between what? Between, between what? between one person or two person? Between one person or two person? One person, of course, one person. Okay, open a mawdudi for me. Your mawdudi. I read for me the interpretation there. Can you do that? Yeah, I can. I can read. Of course, I can read. Hmm, go ahead. Uh, Okay, just one second. Hmm. Uh, but I have four persons house in my phone and it is going to work. <laughs> so, what? Just one second. I have uh, four persons house uh, charge, uh, in my phone actually, three percent. Oh, okay, so, no problem. You can work. call me uh, whatever you want. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I shall charge my phone and uh, I shall come back, uh, no problem. But uh, let me read, uh, just uh, three percent charge, uh, hmm. one second. <clears throat> well, you mentioned that Yakhrujum uh, Mimbaini should be operated, emanating from the, uh, between, uh, between the loyals and the ribs. So, hmm. he translated. Uh, mm. between the loyans and the ribs because the word solvent also means mm. loyans okay. <clears throat> a fluid a gushing port means mm. uh, is accumulation of semen mm. uh, carry, carrying the sperm uh, one of the one of the minute or usually actively molecular uh, gametes uh, a, a mature a male reproductive cell in in semen which serves to fertilize the woman uh, female ova Sperms are uh, produced by tests. Hmm. Uh, each test has uh, 800 small uh, tabus. Okay, <laughs> so in, the, in this Take case, care, take case, care, take care. In this All of this in Tafsir al Maududi, so he's adding things, it's not the Quran. You say to me, if the interpretation is against the Quran, we don't take it. Where he got this is from? How come you don't question the stupid. No, just to show you your hypocrisy. Just to show you your hypocrisy. We showed you what your prophet said, yeah. which is the scholars, they base in what your prophet said, you deny it, you don't want it. So you go to Al-Mawdudi, who is a kid, he cannot even join my classroom to spank him. Who is Al-Mawdudi, this guy? This guy became a scholar now, Dudi. We are not getting you Dudi. We are getting you Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, Al-Jalalain. We are getting you your biggest scholar, you get me Dudi. Why? Because Dudi, 
is having a new interpretation to fit with the word today, for the Quran is a joke. If we go right now to Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir, he is not do thee. He is way higher than do thee and moody. So Ibn Kathir, when he translate, or sorry, he give interpretation, he is quoting what your prophet said, not his own. And in order for you to get away from this, you say, I am not going to accept Ibn Kathir, I want to accept Dudi, who wrote a book yesterday to explain something is not there. The Quran make it clear that women and men, both they have water. No, yeah, no. Hold on, let me show you everybody. Everybody will laugh at you. Everybody will laugh at you. You are not decent and your duty is a fraud. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. Hold on. Me in the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, which is referring to the chest. Do you see the word chest? This is what the Quran means, chest of the women. This is why all all scholars agree that this. Oh, shut up, shut up. You know, you, I give you time to speak. Now you are lying and you are duty. And now he is quoting for you that you're a prophet. He said, who said that? You're a prophet. He said, and proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, the backbone of the man and ribs of the women. And he, then he said, and and the, the, the it's a fluid, is yellow, fine in textures. The child will not be born except from both of them. And this is exactly what your prophet said. He's quoting your prophet. So which one is correct? The one who quote your prophet or the one who quote do thee? Yeah, that's why there are different, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm asking you, which one is more valid? The one who quote an authentic hadith from your prophet explaining the Quran or the one who is quoting books of science have nothing to do with the Quran. Which one is your duty? Muhammad or al mawdudi hmm. hmm. So we refuse what Muhammad say now. He is the prophet of Islam. He knew best what the Quran means. And now we go after duty because duty will avoid us from getting busted. Hey, just go. Go charge your phone. Go charge your phone. It's okay. Go charge your phone. May, may the Lord have mercy in your stupidity. Do you see how they run away? Any, anything you say to them right away, you say, I don't know. Either you say, I don't know, to avoid the answer. Or he say, it contradicts the Quran. Then we show them, it doesn't contradict. The Quran says, it's coming from between the backbone and the ribs. And it says it clearly, it's a gashing forth water. And Muhammad, he explained it, and it's authentic. So what is missing? What is missing is that this is embarrassing. Muhammad is being stupid. So what we do? We say to them a hadith, they say da'if. We say to them sahih, they say we don't accept it. Did you notice? They excuse when they want da'i, da'i, da'i. Oh, this is sahih. <laughs> How in the world this religion function? Where is your dignity? Where is your honesty? Why we have to lie to each other forever? Can't we be honest? Well, we cannot be honest. Honesty will bring embarrassment. Honesty will expose Muhammad. This is why we do everything we can to avoid being honest. And this is why I'm saying to the Christians, my friends, when you debate a Muslim, you are not debating a Muslim. You are debating nobody. They play games. Debate always have to happen between two honest, decent people. Otherwise, there's no debate. If you say to me, does your Bible say that? And the Bible says that. And I say, no, it doesn't say that. That's mean I am not a decent person. So debate me about what? David Wood, he said to me, me hijab, your, your God have parts. Me, me hijab, he says, who said so? We have Fifi video saying so. 
We have all the Muslim people, is no one, he's just a kid. But we have tons of Muslim scholars, high names, and Muhammad saying so, and the Quran saying so. So what we teach you here is not really debating skills, is cornering skills. You try to debate the Muslim, you have to find him under the couch. Hey, where are you? He go under the bed. He go to the bed, oh, he run away and, and, under the refrigerator. You go behind the refrigerator, oh, he's, he's in, the, in, the, in the sink. He do his best so you don't get him busted. Quran, Hadith, reference, all showing one thing, Islam is crazy. Shaitan became a Muslim. I mean, can you believe it? And not only that, by the way, Muhammad, he go far, and he say Shaitan, he command him. He would do what? He command him. <clears throat> he commanded him to do what? To do good. And guys, read with me carefully. Do you see the Muslim interpretation? Sorry, translation. Look what they would hear. There's none amongst you whom is not attached to from among the, the genie. And then he, the, the devil, he's talking about shaitan. They, the companions, said, Allah Messenger, with you too? Thereupon he said, Yes, but Allah helped me against him, so I am safe from his hand, and he does not command me, but for good. Who command Muhammad? Shaitan, the devil. Do you see it? Is that my translation? No. Is that Da'if? No. Somebody is asking, what about uh, Qadi topic, my friend? Oh, this is our topic. The, the 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 narrative have holes. Don't you get it? All of this is holes. All of those things are holes, and the Muslim they try to put fabric here, divers here, diver there to block it, and it's leaking. And you are telling me when we talk about Yasser Qadi, all of this is holes. Shaitan is commanding Muhammad. And he's commanding him to do what? To do good. I want the Muslim to tell me the command of shaitan which was good. Any Muslim? No, my internet connection is very good. If you have a problem, this is from your side, my friend. This is from your side. Are we lying when you say Muhammad received command from the devil? No. Is that my website? No. Is that a hadith I translated maybe? Trying to make Muhammad look ugly, stupid? No. Is it the Christian prince who put the word devil there? No. Is it me who said that he command me not but to do good? No. And guess what? After we finish the broadcast, the Muslim they will say, what about your Bible? One plus one plus one plus one is equal to one. They have the speed of light to change topic to avoid the embarrassment and the stupidity and the holes in the narrative. No. It doesn't say that, CP. Who as a Muslim can tell me what is the good command that the devil gave Muhammad? Like what? Give it charity. I hope that all of us today, we have a good time and we learn good. Anyone have a question? Shaitan is a Muslim, according to Muhammad. And this is actually makes sense. 
Muhammad he used to rape, Muhammad he used to kill, to steal. He just, and not only that, he just defy it. You see what make it more ugly, that you go and rape somebody and you just defy the rape. You steal the money of somebody and you just defy the stealing. Please download the video, share it with your friends, and keep them in your Gmail drive, G drive, whatever they call it, as reference for the future in case you never know. In the Muslim, they try to fight us, try to take our videos down. So we have to save them. And I'm very grateful for all. That's why I don't keep my videos, by the way, because by doing that, I am forcing the good one of us. Let us make it clear, the good one of us, because the rest, there are some, they don't care. The good one of us to do something. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. Christians who care for Christ, they care for Christ. What they do? They do what Christ asked them to do. Expose lies and share the truth. A Christian, he don't do that. He don't belong to Christ. He's a Christian by name. And Christian by name will never enter the kingdom of my father. The Lord, he said, not everyone will say to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. What his will is. The whole Bible tells us what the will is. You say to the hypocrite, you are a hypocrite. To the liar, you are a liar. To the thief, you are a thief. You don't take an oath, you say nay, nay, yes, yes, and anything else is from the devil. Whoever deny the father, deny the son, he is an antichrist. This is the word of the Bible, not mine. And Muhammad, he denied the father, and he denied the son. And yet you will find some false priest saying Islam is Abrahamic. When the Bible say clearly that it is Antichrist. Never listen to those priests. They are fraud. They are totally fraud. This is how you know them. Satan consider as God in the Bible, yes or no? Well, here we go. Just to give you an example of Muslims asking question. Here's Zahra, how are you? Yes or no? Satan consider as God in the Bible. You are first misquoting the Bible. The Bible says the God of this world. So why are you lying? Why you don't add what is not after the word God? And not only that, it's mentioned the word God, not as the word Jehovah or Elohim. It mentioned it as little God, which means fake God. Even in English, you use little G when you describe about false God. Isn't this what the Bible says? However, isn't it your God in the Quran says the same? <laughs> Let us go to the Quran. We just we were talking about it. Your Quran saying you are going to worship Shaitan as God and his kids, not only Shaitan, even his kids. Muslims when they try to accuse someone, they don't know what their book is talking about. I never saw a Muslim, he knew what he's talking about actually. We were talking for the last 40 minutes about the Quran speaking about you worshiping shaitan and his kids as gods. And you are saying to me, does the Quran the say, uh, Shaitan is God. The Bible is speaking about false people like you who follow Shaitan, call him God. People like you who believe that Shaitan, he had sex with himself and he had babies. Literally.
This is how the Muslim they try to refute you by misquoting always the Bible. Chapter 18, verse number 50. It says, and this is your translation. We say to the angels, bow down to Adam. They bow down, except Shaitan. He was one of the jinn. He defied the command of the Lord. Will you take him and his offspring as lords? Does it say lords? Do you see the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan? The Bible is clearly saying that shaitan is God in this earth. Why? Because many people worship him. And this is true. But there is only one true God. He is the one who will defeat Satan. And even your prophet said that when Shaitan, he sees Jesus the Christ, he will melt like salt in the water. Can you believe it? When Satan, he meet with Jesus, he will melt. When Satan, he meet Muhammad, he command him. <laughs> and we show you the difference. Do you see the difference? If we ask Muslims, how come when Satan, he see Jesus, he will melt like salt in the milk, in the, in the water? Anyone have explanation? They don't have. How they will have? They are Muslims. I never saw a Muslim. He knew what he's talking about. The only explanation we say to you, Da'if, Hadith, weak Hadith. We say to them, Sahih Bukhari. They say, Da'if, Hadith. Let me show you this reference here. So we can love together. Oh, here we go. When the Dajjal look at him, at him who? Isa. What will happen? When the Dajjal look at him, he will start to melt as salt melt in water. We can show you another hadith. This is one of many. While Muhammad is receiving command from the devil, as you see, claiming that his God is the devil now, the Muslims are asking us, is it true that the Bible says that Satan is the God? Yes, the Bible says Satan is God of this world and the proof in front of your eyes. Muhammad receiving his command from the devil. Claiming that the devil gave him good command. Where the good order come from? From God. Where Muhammad receive command from the Muslim, they say from Allah. Well, this is not what the hadith is saying. The hadith says that Muhammad received command from the good devil. Is it me who is saying that? Guys, is it me who is saying that Muhammad saying 
he received command from a person his name is the devil it's in the front of you Any Muslim have come? Uh, any Muslim want to tell me how Muhammad received command from the devil, and it's a good command? Who is a Muslim can tell us good command the devil he gave to Muhammad? Anyone? Anyone can tell me one good command the devil gave Muhammad? So even your prophet, he agree that he received command and he obey the devil, claiming that this devil is a good devil. It doesn't matter. First of all, it's very funny to say that the devil is good. Secondly, it's funny to say that you are a prophet and you receive command from someone other than God. This is confirmed many things. <clears throat> that Islam is a shish kebab, hummus. Muslims, they have no idea what they are worshipping. Muhammad himself, he agreed that he received command from the devil, claiming that his devil is good devil. Doesn't matter, he is the devil. And there is no way the devil will give good, good. Why we call him devil anyway if he is good? So, what we learned today is very important. I'm going to finish the video right now so you guys you can download it easier. Uh, we have 1000 like only which is okay i mean christian don't like what i do what i can do <laughs> i'm so grateful for the lord to give us opportunity that we are entering every house muslims they are listening to us from around the earth i receive emails from places i never thought i will be reaching to my videos are shaking countries to the point the government of Pakistan and Bangladesh and many Islamic countries are reporting me to YouTube. How powerful what we are saying. Islam needs protection of the devil. So I can stand a YouTube video scaring the hell of you. Why? We don't have a gun. No, I have guns actually, but not here. I mean, I have it for my safety, my protection. We are not fighting. We are not killing. We are. Why well, you are scared? What the problem, brother? The problem is what you are saying. No, we cannot answer it. And our kids will leave Islam. The Muslim days claim that Islam is going to dominate. Dominate what? You cannot even dominate your own country. Who is forbidding Algeria from having Sharia law there? Algerian, they don't want it. Morocco, they don't want it. Libya, they don't want it. Syria, they don't want it. Iraq, they don't want it. Egypt, they don't want it. Turkey, oh, don't, don't mention Turkey, please. <laughs> so they speak so much about how much wonderful Islam, but nobody want to follow Islam. Muhammad, he said, proving again that he is a false prophet, that when you Muslims start listening to music, Allah will turn you into pigs and monkeys. Have you ever heard of one he drank wine from you Muslims? And he watched dancing women from you Muslims. And he listened to music from you Muslims. Allah turned him into pigs and monkeys. 
and not only that the earth will swallow them and this is not in the judgment day this is now immediately when you do it in the time of Muhammad because he said the same as he did to the people of the Sabbath. He did not do it in the judgment day. He did it in, in, when they did it right away. They did fishing on Saturday. Allah made them pigs and monkeys, which is a very hilarious story. Well, Spanish, I have my book in Spanish. However, if you are a person who speaks Spanish, my friend, translate my videos, cut them sm small, small sections to make the work easier for you. And translate. I need your help, my friend. I cannot, I don't speak Spanish. We need all languages. All people around the earth, they need us. The truth, my friend, the truth. And the truth hurt. So we need to work to save the world. In India, they start burning cars, you know, killing Hindus. Why? Because somebody insulted Muhammad. So what if you insult Muhammad? Oh, Islam means peace. You can't insult the Prophet. So this religion is affecting your life, your security, your economy, your safety. Is not a choice to fight it or not. It's not a choice. And the one who ignore this cult, they will pay the price. And again, soon and i'm so excited a big company already are launching thousands of satellites and the internet will be reaching every house in the world wirelessly government cannot control it they cannot block it they cannot use a proxy You buy a little machine, you install it secretly. If you don't want people to know, you have internet. How they can stop that? Right now, they are blocking our pages, our websites, our videos. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. And don't tell me about the Zahra, you know, I, I want Muslim male to call me, I don't want to talk to females. I talked to a Muslim female, she was very filthy, and the Muslim, they start making lies. When I said to her, suckle me, they said, Christian Prince is saying to a Muslim woman, suckle me. When the filthy woman, she was saying that Jesus was doing something bad to his mother breast. I said to her, it is the old prophet who said, suckle me. Send me men, don't send me Zahra and Safra and Tafra. Even your Quran consider you sadly half a brain. So before you talk to me, go and spit at your book who make you half a brain. Isn't it your prophet who said that most of you will go to hell? And why? Because you have half a brain and because you have your period. What kind of a prophet this prophet is? So you are smart to talk to me as a female, but you are stupid to accept Muhammad saying you are half a brain. Which one is you? Are you the smart one or the half a brain Muhammad mentioned? Here you see the hypocrisy of this nation. Oh, the prophet is saying the truth. Women, they have emotion. Women, they have emotion. So why you don't call me? Why you call me? Am I going to talk to your brain or your emotion? If you have emotion, that's when you lost your mind. Will men have emotion too? One woman with short skirt will make 10 men lose their mind, not only their emotion. Especially if they are, you know, Middle Eastern Muslims. Women, they have emotion, human, they don't. Men, they don't. Even Muhammad, he claimed that women are the devil.
when they ask Muhammad, what is the proof that women, she is having deficiency? He said, well, isn't it the Quran says one man is equal to two women? What? You brought me a verse you made to prove to me that women are stupid? And he added to make it more stupid that because you have your uh, period, you are going to go to hell too. Look at this. They are asking him why we will go to hell. To hell. He said, isn't it true that the witnesses of a man equal to two? What is our problem with our intellect? Among the women, women who are, he said, who are deficient in their intelligence and religion. I have not seen any more able to remove the understanding of the burden of the man, one of you. They ask, what is deficiency in our religion and our intelligence? O oh, Messenger of Allah, he replied, hey, hey, isn't it a testimony of a woman equivalent of a half testimony of, you are a half man. In Islam, you are a half man, half a human. They said, yes. He said, remarking that to the deficiency of their intelligence. And he asked, okay, in that case, but when she, she had menstru menstruation, she is neither praise or fast. She said, yes. He said, this is your deficiency in religion. And because of that, they will go to hell. So he forbid them from praying when they are having this menstruation as if it's a, it's a guilt, as if it's a sin. I will be accept to talk to a Muslim woman if she accept that Muhammad is a fraud and she is not half a brain. To believe that women are half a brain, it's an insult to my mother. My mother, she can debate 10 bishop, not only Muslims, and they will not win with her. And she is a woman. My mother, she knew the Bible by heart. I don't. My mother, when I was studying law, she knew every single line in my book. I don't. And she is a woman. In fact, when Muhammad, he said that the testimony of two women equal to one, not only show us that he is a fraud, but he showed us that he's a stupid. Because he explained why she had a memory problem. But all of us, we knew when it's come to witnessing, women, they can witness better than us. You take a man to a restaurant, he, she will not remember what he ate today in the morning. You take a woman to a restaurant or a party, she will tell you what everyone was wearing in the party. Their shoes, their perfume, their necklace, their earring. I mean, she is the best witness to witness. So what Muhammad is talking about? In chapter 2, verse number 282. Am I lying? Hey, women, ask the husband next to you what he did eat yesterday. Just do it now. He will not remember. Ask a woman about a wedding party she attended a year ago. She will give you details you cannot imagine.
Didn't the Bible say that the women under the, the women under the man? You see, here you are showing me that you are ignorant again. The Bible speaks about the man as a leader, but doesn't mean that the women she is less than him. And look what the Bible says. He said, the same as the Messiah, he sacrificed himself to the church, the man he sacrificed himself to the women. So here, the obedience of the women is because of love, not because she is half a brain. The man is the Lord of the house, but not because he is a smarter and she is a stupid and she is half a brain. Everyone have a duty in this kingdom. There's a king and there's a queen. So in Christianity, she is a queen. In Islam, who can beat her? And this is why Jesus the Messiah, he forbid men from exchanging their women as Muhammad do and the Muslims do because they are abusing women. He marry her today, he throw her tomorrow. She gets a little bit older, we dump her in the, in, in the trash. She's a queen and nobody can replace the queen from her chair. So what are you talking about? In Islam, in chapter 4, verse number 34, if you disagree with me, I can beat you. The man is in charge of the house in Christianity, but can he beat the wife? No. The Messiah, he made the women equal to the church. The same as a Christ, he sacrificed, he gave himself to the church. The man should do that. So the women... She became like a temple of God. And not only that, the Messiah himself, he chose to come through a woman, how much honor the women she want. Mary. Mary. A honor nobody can have. A woman she have it. The Messiah is not the son of any man. But he is born of a woman. Her name is Mary. Do you see how much honor the Messiah he gave to the women? Every woman should be proud that she is Mary. You cannot deny that. While your Quran saying, beat them, force them to obey you. The Bible was saying, love them. Don't hurt them. Don't exchange them. Don't use them and dump them. How we can compare? I remember once a Muslim woman, she is a nice woman actually, she was visiting my mother and my mother, she was cooking. She was with her in the kitchen. I was just a kid. She said to her, lucky you are. I said, what do you mean? I said, you know, you see this food you are cooking? I said, yeah. Oh, she wants some? She said, no, 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 I'm not talking about want some. She said, us as Muslim women, we don't know, we don't have guarantee that we are going to eat the food we just cooked. We might get divorced any second, any moment. Go right now and search in Google. Most of them, they are allowed today, using the technology, to divorce their wife by text messages. You see how easy it is? Text message. You are divorced. It's over. I dump you. If we go right now, and we search for divorce by text message. Are we going to find that this is a true or fabrication? Let us do that. <laughs> How horrible. How sad.
How sad. Question. Islamic what? Islamic website. Can divorce occur by text message or email? The answer is yes. Read it. Is that how easy it is? Yes. For women, Quran consider them as lahu. Lahu. Just fun. They all exist just for fun. If the fun is not there, dump them. The man, he cannot do that in Christianity unless he is not following God. So we cannot compare. Answer the question, please, and stop being coward. Should the girl be st stoned to death if she is not a virgin? Shouldn't she marry her rapist? You see, you are just a liar again. The Bible says clearly that a woman who committed adultery, not rape, she will be stoned. This is in the Old Testament. And if this is not right, why your prophet, he make it a verse in the Quran. Secondly, marrying the rapist. I can show you right now reference that your Muslims practice marrying the rapist. In the case you are talking about marrying the one who raped her, that is a lie. A woman, she lay down with the man and she don't scream. Obviously, she is allowing it to happen. To fix that, if she is not married, she can marry that person and he can marry her. Otherwise, the punishment will be severe. So the Bible is giving them an opportunity to correct what they did. If we go to the story where a man, a Muslim man, he saw a Muslim woman in the desert and she was dying from hunger. He said to her, I will not give you some fruit, date fruit to survive and water unless you take off your panty. The woman, she is dying. She said, okay, what I can do? After he did, and she arrived to the city, she went to the caliphate. And she said to him, this man, he raped me. He did this to me. Umar al-Khattab, he said, Mahar, Mahar, Mahar. That was your dowry. <laughs> so you just said clearly that adultery in Christianity and in the Old Testament is a big sin. In Islam, your prophet, he allow you even to be a sex tourist. Three days vacation, no worry. Read the hadith with me. Tourist sex. Any women and men agree. Here they put between two bracket temporarily marriage. Well, we never heard of something called temporary marriage. Since when? It's a sex agreement. It says, it doesn't say marry liars. Because nobody marry for three days. Hello? So why in the Bible, and you just said to us, a man who lay down with the women and she don't scream, and she is not married, he have to marry her. Because nobody will marry her after that. This is a very conservative society. That's it, her reputation is ruined. Fix your crime or you will pay the price. Here, Muhammad saying, don't worry, go find the women. And then you will see the Muslims exchanging sex for some product, a dress for the women, some money, ring, bracelet, gold. This is Islam. So here we notice how the difference is a huge between Christianity, where the punishment is severe. And we are talking here about the Old Testament, not specifically Christianity. And Muhammad. And yet the Muslims, they say that Muslims are the same as Moses. 
Well, this is what Musa say. You can rent a woman for three days. And what make it more horrible, you will find even the Muslims agree that muta is a rented woman. Rented what? Rented women. No, Christian Prince, no way. It doesn't say that. No, it does. Here we go. I will put the reference in the front of you. The four pillars of muta. Alislam.org. I hope the text is clear for all of you so you can read and see. To make it short, if you open this page, search for the word rent. Rented. As simple as that. I mean, they are not even ashamed to say the word rent. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? This is how you hire a woman to go to your bed in Islam. I have given you as gift, my possession, the money. I have rented you. And then she will say, I have lent you, etc. And then they go to bed. Halal! Brother Halal, I have rented you. Since it was, as was pointed out above, that women taking takes on a certain legal uh, 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 like category of rented property. She's rented the property. In the case of temporary marriage, which began after a period of uh, like agreement, The hadith has stayed in general hadith which state that the women who enter into muta rented. I mean, do you see how many times the word rented mentioned? This is a religion. What is this? You tell me. Read carefully here. The purpose of rental. The purpose of what? Rental. That's amazing. In some work, special term is applied to women who participate in muta, musta'ajara, or rented women. Muta is considered as a kind of rental because in general, a man basic aim is this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of the women. And in return of for her of this enjoyment, the women receive certain amount of money or property. And you are talking about the Bible forcing the woman who slept with the man and the man who slept with the women to marry each other. And not only that, by the way, in that verse there, you will see that that man who slept with that woman, he cannot ever divorce her. Ever. Otherwise, he will be killed you are the one who fornicated with her you are the one who made her lose her virginity you marry her and she will be your wife until you die and she accepted that too she lay down with you she did not scream 
I never saw people speak about honor and virginity as the Muslims do. But when you go to the Middle East, you don't see it. So I answer you, Zahra, and you are rented women. And you obviously are half a brain. After all this answer, she said, you did not answer me. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> After all, dump I throw on you. I did not answer you yet, so when I'm going to answer? Go, go. Go, Muta. Go to Muta. Hmm? I'm sure you will find some people looking for property to rent. No dignity. And you know, you notice they get so angry and so upset because the truth hurt. I mean, how in the world I can believe in such a prophet, he says, you can rent a woman. Can I rent Muhammad's daughter? And just to show you the hypocrite Muhammad, when Ali, he wanted to marry additional women beside the daughter of Muhammad, do you know what Muhammad did? You cannot do that! Azzalallah, you cannot do that! You told them you can, they can. Just because she is his daughter, you cannot? Coward, hypocrite. Muhammad, you have no problem that you go sleep around with other women. But don't do that with his daughter. Coward. Don't forget to download the video. Share it with your friends. You can slice it, cut it pieces to make it simple, short. Like now we talk about uh, Muta. You can cut this part, make it a video by itself. Do as you wish and add subtitle and repost, please. I want to say thank you all for being here. And I'm happy to see more and more Muslims leaving Islam. And at the same time, I'm happy to see more Muslims are very angry from me. The day the Muslim, they will start saying to me, God bless you, that's mean there's something wrong with me. Or the Muslim became a Christian. Always you need to notice that when the Muslim, they start praising someone, he claimed to be a Christian, that is not a Christian person. He's a fraud. This is how you know how truthful this man is. The second they approve him, it's mean he is not following God. Do we agree? I think all of you agree. And just to show you that we are the follower of the true Lord, the Muslims, when you start spanking Muhammad with no mercy, they say to you, is that what the Christ he said to you to be nice? Is that what the Christ he taught you? Is that what the Bible teach you? They make fun of us for being Christian 24 hours, seven days a week. The second you start spanking Muhammad, they want you to be Christian. You are not good a good Christian. You are a true Christian. This is what they say to you. You are following the wrong Bible. The second you start spanking Muhammad, they want you to be true Christian by following the Bible. But guess what? We are following the Bible. The Bible, he said to false people, hypocrite, liars, satans, sons of satans. Hypocrites. So yes, I'm following the Bible. I'm following the Bible to the point I might get killed. And this is what happened to the disciples. Because they are not perfectly correct. They were not killed because they are saying what people like to hear. They were killed because they were saying what people don't like to hear. And the Lord, our Lord, the Messiah himself, he is against anyone is politically correct. The second you are politically correct, the same second you lost your dignity. You are just a liar, lying to yourself, saying things people like to hear. And this is the only way not to be harmed. 
Here we see it as it is. You like it, like it. You don't like it, take a hike. The Lord is our protector, and we will live once in this earth. But our eternal life, nobody can take it. Don't fear the one who destroyed the body. Fear the one who destroyed your soul. I have no fear from my body being destroyed. It's going to be destroyed anyway. It's just a matter of time. The Bible said, let the dead bury the dead. Do we understand what does that mean? We are dead. Let the dead bury the dead. But with the Messiah, he said, whoever believe in me and die will live. The one who go after his life today, he will lose his life after. Everything have a price. And actually, even if you don't believe in God, the one who is so much attached to life, you don't enjoy it because he's so afraid. You know what I mean? You are afraid of from disease, you are afraid of from highway, you are afraid of from etc. You are afraid. So you don't go anywhere, you're going to do anything. You are, you, you are terrified. You can't enjoy life. It's like somebody have a phobia from germs. He wash his pillow twice a day. He can't sleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, your, your phobia will kill you because you are so afraid to die. The second you are afraid of something, you are a slave of that thing. For us, even as when we speak about God, I am not afraid from God because he said to me, when you pray, say to me this, our Father. Look how lovely. He doesn't say, Lord, I am your servant. I am your say, our Father out of heaven. He don't want me to be his slave, even though he is the one who created us. He wanted us to live with him in his kingdom as a children of God. And this is what people don't understand, that the beauty of Christianity is not about just having God and we worship that God. We have a God who loves us as a children. Like, you know, you enter your room and you find your son, he is maybe five years old, he broke your TV. He's your son. You hug him, are you okay? You're not worried about the TV now, you're worried about him. That how is a Christ for us. We break everything around us. We destroy everything around us. And yet he says to us, come to me, the one who is tired, and I will comfort you. Knock at my door and I will open for you. How beautiful. After all what we did, we have no shame to knock at his door. He said, come to me with your shame. Just come. That is the Messiah, my friend. Not a guy who says to you, repeat your dude 100 times, you go to heaven. Superstition cult. Enter the bathroom with your left foot. Otherwise, shaitan will enter your anus. By the way, the video which we have yesterday and we took off, you can find the link for it in Patreon. Just search the video before this one and you will see it. All right? So you can download it. It's not gone. As soon as people download my video, I replace the link. I, I delete this, this video here and then I will post the new link in Patreon. Or you can search for the same title. However, I advise people who they are downloading the videos, please don't just make the same title, Make be creative. Otherwise, all of them, they will appear in one page. Be creative, like add something about what we speak about. Do something, all right? So I wanna say thank you all for being here. I am grateful to the Lord to have you. I'm grateful to the Lord to have my Lord to open my eyes, to make me who I am. With all what I have, still he love me. All the sin, still he love me. All the guilt, 
still he loved me. And we pray that the Lord will open our eyes for the best of our brothers and sisters. And when we say brothers and sisters, we mean all mankind. We mean the Hindus, we mean the Muslims, we mean the atheists, we mean everybody. The Lord, he love all. But remember, that love is one time opportunity. After you die, you lost it. After you die, it's not there for you. He offered it to you, you're rejected, and you are responsible for your choice. Be responsible and be smart. Thank you. May God bless you all. Christ is Lord. Islam is a dummy made by a dummy for the dummy. And if a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? This is your brother Christian Prince. Happy Sunday. Christ is our Lord. And see you soon again. Take care.